came over from Jordy's live. I don't know who Jordy is, but hey, Jordy, shout out. Uh, I don't know which live that is. I barely know what I am. I just had to go put um, Vicks on my nose because I come home and I'm stuffed again. Look, she's right there. The stuffer is right there. The thing I'm allergic to is my baby girl. Cat lady. Cat lady. <laughs> Cat lady. Oh my God, I'm a cat lady. Y'all, I'm a cat lady. Emma from Ireland. Hi, cat, cat lady. <laughs> I did that to her last night and she was like, yeah, I don't care. Feed me, lady, feed me. <laughs> so yeah, oh my God, cat lady, cat lady. I can't believe I'm a cat lady. Like, you know, the connotations of that, but hey, that's what I am now in this life. I'm fucking cat lady. Okay, I'm all um, mangled up. I just came from aerial class, y'all. I just came from aerial class after I came from running 14, and uh, that's what I did. So I ran to the top of a mountain, and then I went to aerial class. I had a two-hour break, and then I went to aerial class where I hung upside down after I ate my breakfast. Now I came home and I ate my dinner. Kind of happens like that. Cat lady. Cat. Mew, mew. Lady. Cat lady. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, that is who I am. A cat lady, y'all. Uh, yeah, that's what I am. I've got to go get some water, too. But I'll wait. Um, can't just one. Okay, I've got to have more than one. Let's see. I started watching you. Okay, yeah, I know. You know what, y'all? You know what? Some lady or some person, you're at the gym now. Oh my God, I'd love to go back to the gym. I could keep going to the gym like all day long. I don't know that I'd accomplish anything, but I just like the idea of, do I'm a cat lady too. Yeah, cat lady. Like I don't have a life, I just have a cat. I have a cat. Love from Norway, my people. Canada, Norway, and them Viking Irish. Alcoholic, loudmouth people. Only I don't drink. But if I did, I'd be in your face. I'd be in your face. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is a shout out. I don't even know if I can do this, but yeah, I'm not going to do it. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I still have food in my mouth and I still have that sticky stuff on my hands from class. Oh, I've washed it and watch it. Okay. I know that you all know, um, I know that there are Norwegian elk hound oh a norwegian elk hound how cute okay y'all seriously okay so seriously okay <laughs> i am your bff i am i just put more makeup on after class because i kind of hung upside down i cry when my teacher carrie tells me to do stuff i'm like i don't understand like my brain doesn't work that way my brain does not work like what you're telling me to do like, I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't understand. She's like, just climb up, hold yourself, do a, a hip key, but do it from in the air. And I'm like, well, I'll do it this way. She goes, no, just do it from hanging. I'm like, oh, okay, we're going to hit the floor. We're going to hit the floor. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. So um, <laughs> I'm not talented at Ariel. I just do it. Uh, you are neurodivergent. Yeah, you know, they want to label everybody that, but I don't like this fucking country's labels. And you can't label me. I don't do what anybody wants me to do. I'm definitely not autistic, okay? Um, sorry, but no. And I don't take to labels. The only label that I take to is I'm the mother of two boys and a cat lady. That's what I am. But other than that, I don't listen. This country has like a need to label everything and you can't label me. I'm not from this, this fucking planet. There's Bobby. Oh, Bobby taught me about fascinators. Yeah, that's what they do in Texas. They wear fascinators. Go Google that and <laughs> look that up. <laughs> There's Ashley. Ashley. Cat mommy. No, cat lady. <laughs> me and Tallulah. We were watching Seinfeld because unfortunately Seinfeld is like mashed potatoes for me. We were watching Seinfeld and I'm like, cat lady, Seinfeld, cat lady, Seinfeld. <laughs> the cat thought I was crazy. It was like two o'clock in the morning. 
Um, I woke up. Fascinators. Yeah, I know. You taught me about them. I did not know what they were called because I'm just from, I'm a, you know, from Canada. Okay, listen. Um, listen, listen, y'all. Why do, thank you for that, E-Tiger. Why do we label people? Now, everybody's autistic or neurodivergent. Oh, I'm neurodivergent. Why? Because they put it on TikTok or YouTube that everybody's it? No, I'm none of those things. There's nothing that I am that they say that you... Don't take their labels. Fuck their labels, okay? You be you. I'm drinking my coffee You that I made. You be you. There are no labels. I'm doing a solar eclipse... Uh, I know my cat, Guelph, Ontario. Um, I'm doing a solar eclipse video this week. Uh, I eat Kalonzapam. Yes. Yes. You know how I feel about that. Um, April. Hi, April. April. Ah, April, April. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. I'm going to talk about the eclipse another time. I'm not doing it on live stream. I'm going to do a video. Mm. They try to label you everything. I don't want to take your labels. I don't fucking care what you think I am. <laughs> I don't care. Who cares? So what? I mean, if, if you can communicate well enough, are you really neurodivergent? Like, who cares if you are? I'm just curious. Who cares the fuck if you are? Like, maybe you're ambidextrous and multi-talented and highly verbal. Maybe you're not neurodivergent. Maybe you just had a lot of coffee. Maybe you smoked a crack pipe. I don't know. But anyway, you know, they try to label you all the time. I know so many labels. Fuck your labels. Fuck it. Have you ever been to Kansas? Yes, I have. Not recently, though. Not recently. Um, yeah, they need to. I know. They need to label everything to make money from the drugs. I, I, please. Yeah, they can fuck off. I don't fit into your little boxes. I don't care what you say. I don't care. There you go. You're a cat lady too. Yeah, Annie D, we're the same age. Cat. Who knew I'd be a fucking cat lady? Like they tell you when you're younger, oh, you get married, you'll meet a man, you'll stay together. Shut the fuck up with that lie already. Take that lie, stick it up your ass. <laughs> because first of all, first of all, and I can't believe I'm quoting Megan Fox, but is there really a magical dick out there? <laughs> I mean, why do you need one? That's what she said. And look at how gorgeous she is. So I'm with her. Older, but with her. Um, I don't think there's any magical dicks out there. I don't think so. Is there? I know. It's all lies. It's lies. Uh, he is nonverbal. Yes. Okay. Well, that's fine. You can be diagnosed with what you want. I choose not to be diagnosed. And you're just saying it. Uh, no, I don't take herbs. I am taking B12 right now. Oh. They label us. They label us everything in school. You know, boys are always more rambunctious in school and they try to label them. They got the whole country on Ritalin, Ritalin. That's called speed. It's meth, actually. Just crack the middle and take your Ritalin pill, crack it and snort it. It's called meth. Okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. I'm taking under the tongue B12. Uh, B12, because I had that tick. So John told me to take B12 and get rid of the tick in my eye. So there you go. I took the B12. Um, I know guys think their dicks are magical, but honestly, I, I, you know, I say this. Don't let them label your kid. They put this fucking label in school. Don't label. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, some people are married, uh, never been married and completely happy. Some people are happy being married. Uh, you know, whatever. Our kids are so bright and open. They're desperate to shut them up. I know. Sublingual. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Bobby. Sublingual. Sublingual. Under the tongue. Putting cough meds behind. Yeah, they, they do. I know. Okay, y'all. I said to John, of course, I'm like, that's not Kate Middleton. And he's like, oh, please shut up. <laughs> and he said, if it's not Kate Middleton, it's because, listen to his theory, he's so fucking smart and I'll tell you why, because he goes straight to the money. Fuck the spiritual, fuck everything else, it's only ever about money and he's right. So the reason that they got rid of Kate Middleton and put whatever AI combination of ugly sweater Kate wearing there by herself, like her husband's not going to be with her. Don't you love how they put her shopping at the market? Hi, I'm Kate Middleton. Let me go to Walmart, okay, or the local farmer's market, because why? 
because that's what I did before I disappeared at Christmas, before I had surgery. Sure, sure, okay, yeah, sure. She went to the market, uh-huh. No, I don't think it's her. I think it's some sort of a, I'm sorry, I just think it's bullshit. I don't know where they took that from. I don't know, I don't know what that sweater's about. Like, I don't know why she ever wore that sweater. I can't get past the fucking sweater. And then I see, what's her name? Ben Affleck's old wife, baby mama, what's her name? Um, Jennifer Garner wearing the same ugly sweater. So you know they're signaling. They're doing bullshit. I can't even deal with them because they're so fucking stupid. First of all, here's what John said. John said the only reason that they're parading her out there and she's not there is because they want to keep the, the royal taxpayers paying for the monarchy and they know it's going downhill. So this is a last-ditch effort to keep those fuckers in power stealing your money while you applaud them. Oh my God, they're so special. Fuck you, you're not special, okay? You're nobody. In fact, you're interbred. So special is not what you are. <laughs> you're wrong, okay? Um, I know, I know, but the it's just, it's preventative chemo. I know. Hi, I'm having preventative chemo. Are you? <laughs> no, what's with that sweater? What is with that sweater? Okay. Anyway, it's only about money. They don't want to lose their monarchy position in society because they take your tax money. If you live in the UK, that's what they take. I'm not even being raw. I'm being honest. Everybody, <laughs> everybody in our society talks around everything. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Just to say it like it is. I don't know if they killed her. I didn't even look at... I don't, even, I don't even look at it. I just know that what they're saying isn't true. And I think that they're... Uh, she didn't get a damn BBL. <laughs> that girl has a perfect figure. She doesn't need the BBL. She's not on the Kardashian train. She has like a natural cute figure. Like she has an athletic body. She does not need a BBL. Oh, she went to get a BBL. Really? Because that's what Prince William likes? I'm trying to untangle this. Um, yeah, she didn't, <laughs> Helen Keller could see that. She didn't go to get a BBL. Like she's actually, the fact that people say that's really interesting. Why would she not like her leith at athletic 1970s body? Granted, the Kardashians ruined it for everybody. Do you see what they do to us in society? They take some stupid fucked up celebrity, um, Kimmy Kardashian, right? And they take her and they put her out there and they pump shit in her ass and they're like, yeah, this is what you little kids should look up to. Don't look up to any of them. Don't look up to any of them. I'm still stuffy. I walked in the door and I'm stuffy. Uh, I wasn't earlier, but I am now and it started raining. So I don't know. Let's see. Every day counts for banks. Yeah, that's exactly right. They're stealing your money. Now, here's what I want to ask you. Since we know how fake the monarchy is and a bunch of fucking bobbleheads why are we giving our taxes to the american government yeah why i wish i had kate's body that's a rocking body no boob job no ass lift just athletic thin nice body i like that kind of body from hanging upside down probably i have obsidian everywhere it's not the full moon yet, is it? I don't think so. I think it's the eclipse on the 8th. Oh, the full moon must be soon. Look, so stuffed. I hate it that I'm stuffed all the time. I have to film videos when I'm not stuffed, but I can't do it. Okay, what is this month? This is March, right? This is March, y'all. I think I think Kate's body, Kate's body's natural. I mean... We've all been tricked into doing shit. What about these young kids in their 20s doing Botox? Do you know what you're going to look like when you get to be my age? You're, she doesn't look unhealthy. That's her natural body. I don't think she looks unhealthy. I think she looks good. I like a thin athletic body. Some people are thin naturally. She looks like an angular type body. Oh, we No, I think we have the clips on the 8th. I may be wrong being the astrologer and all. <laughs> I may be wrong. Okay, I could be wrong, but I believe it's on the 8th. We're going retrograde on the 1st. Uh, who cares? Um, anyway, I'm not doing that video till I feel like doing it. So there's lunar eclipse today. Okay, yeah, who cares? Uh, let's see, kind of like when you're pregnant. 
kind of like when who was pregnant nice thin body no uh yeah i think i think her body's fine i don't know why we have to change her and it's so weird um yeah it's so weird we always have to basically you know um oh by the way when they write the word self-proclaimed according to anything, it's because they can't prove it, but you can't prove anything anyway. Uh -huh. You can't, you can't prove anything anyway. Okay. So self-proclaimed is their way of covering their ass legally when they say that. Like, it's like these stupid fucking psychics that put on their, uh, for entertainment purposes only. If you are really fucking, fucking real psychic. Full moon is tomorrow night. Thank you. I, I have to look at it. I haven't even paid attention and I don't because I do the work all day long. I can't be, I, I, I can't. But if, if you look, do you see vision? I don't know what that means. Do you speak in English? I know that's bitchy, but I don't mean, I don't know what you mean by that. All right. Here's the problem. The problem is all of these people, um, she was sitting on the bench in the ugly sweater. It's the ugly sweater convention. Not only are they mocking us, they're putting her in an ugly sweater, therefore mocking her. Okay, uh, no, that's not what I was saying. What the hell was I saying? Oh my God, I forgot what I was saying. Visions. I have no visions of anything right now. That <laughs> I have two Dyson air purifiers in here. Just to let, I will never take NyQuil. Um, I'm not gonna say anything about the eclipse for the 15th time. I will do a video on the eclipses when I feel like doing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like the fuck I will do. Okay, so, um, uh, oh yeah, self-proclaimed. All these psychics, they put, they do this and they're like, you know, uh, for entertainment purposes only. Here's the reality. If somebody wants to sue your ass, anybody can sue anybody. So if you're going to discredit the work that you do by putting for entertainment purposes only, you are discrediting yourself as a psychic and putting yourself into a performer mode, not a psychic mode. So anybody who says that they're for entertainment purposes only when they do a job that they believe is real, then you're discrediting yourself. Why would you let them do that to you? Go ahead and sue if you want to fucking sue. Go ahead and fucking sue. Do it. Who cares? Fucking sue, stupid assholes. Who cares? You know what I mean? Anybody that puts for entertainment purposes only does not own what they say. They don't have the courage to own their words. They think they're covering their ass as a psychic. You're not. Somebody can sue the fuck out of you if they want to, period. They can sue you and say you hit them and you never touch them. They can do whatever they want and you have no say. Why would you discredit your work? Do we not get enough discredit? I don't do it. I don't do it. I'm not for entertainment and I'm not, put, I mean, I am entertaining at times, but that when I say something, I'm fucking saying it. If I'm wrong, I'm fucking wrong. Tough shit. Now, let me get back to the facts here of this. Whoever is emailing me that I am saying crazy shit, asking them for my, or allegedly, right? I say, right? Allegedly, allegedly. I allegedly bleached my hair. I mean, come on, stop. Just literally stop. Literally. Yeah. Now I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I do entertainment, yes. But when I'm being psychic, I'm saying the shit I'm saying for a particular reason. I'm not trying to back out of it to cover my ass from saying what I'm saying like a little coward. No. I don't care. Sue me. Go ahead. Do what you gotta fucking do. You do you and I'll do me. But yeah, no, they did that. They they talk psychics into it. Oh, you can get sued. I've got news for you. I just got sued. I just want, yeah, I did, I did, um, this. Okay. You see this? Do you see this? <laughs> this is my Easter nail polish. But anyway, my point is if you're truly psychic and I've done this work, I have put up with all the bullshit. I've been called every name. I have, had every fucking thing threatened, my kids being taken, you know, you're crazy bitch, you're this, that, we're going to do this to you, we're going to do that to you. I am not for entertainment because that discredits what I'm saying, period, period. And don't tell me I'm emailing you from my YouTube channel and 
threatening you if I don't do an $80 house cleaning. Some lady wrote me that and I'm like, first of all, I don't charge $80 for a house cleaning. Secondly, I cannot be bothered to email you. I cannot be bothered to fucking email you. I will not be emailing you. I will not be texting you. I will not be begging you for readings. Again, I've been doing this work for four decades. I don't need to call you up, threaten you, and then do it. Meanwhile, you know goddamn well, whoever you are, when you emailed me back to my email, that you didn't email the person back to the email that they sent you from. You didn't put reply to sender. You went to my fucking website and emailed me directly because you're a see you next Tuesday, bitch. I don't care. Don't accuse me of that shit. <laughs> I don't have a house cleaning. <laughs> yeah, clearing. That, well, I mean, I don't clean my, well, I, do, I clean my house, but yeah. No, just so you know, my house clearings are $400. I'm not bugging you for $80. And it's marked off because I don't want to be bothered doing it. How about that? Roll, eye roll, big eye roll. Anyway, I mean, please, it's on my website. I go through my website so that people can't accuse me of shit. Please, you know what I mean? But this bitch is writing me an email telling me how can I be spiritual if I said this? And I'm like... But you emailed me on my website and this person came from another email. She didn't come from in my website. So you know that. That's why you're replying to me over here and not over here. So shut the fuck up and no, I'm not asking you for jack shit. Whoever the person is using my face picture, report them. Report them on TikTok. I have like 172,000 followers. Report them wherever the hell wherever the fucking hell <laughs> that they are, because it is not me, okay? Uh, our number life past real? Yeah, and if you believe in numerology, sure is real. Sure, it, it is definitely real, yeah. Yeah, my e I mean, I, I don't understand. And please, take the word astrologist out of your vocabulary before, look, I'm, my eye tick's coming back, y'all. Take the word astrologist out of, I've reported them. You reported them? Good, thanks, Pamela. Um, I, Look, it's twitching again. The vitamin P is, B is not working. Take the word astrologist out of your vocabulary. Astrologist is a new age term like they, them, okay? There is no they, them. You're either you or you're not you. Or you're a name, but you're not two people. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. Anyway, uh, astrologist came about in the, I know it's not a word. It's like saying doctorist. If you see the word astrologist next to an astrologer, they're an asshole. Astrologist, asshole, okay? Asshole, astrologist. It's not a word. You don't make a distinguish, distinguishing between a doctor. I don't know how to word that. Distinguishment between a female and a male doctor. They're doctor, Dr. Pamela and Dr. Joe, whatever. They're a doctor. They're not a doctorist. Astrologist technically means hobbyist. So probably don't get your information from them. And secondly, it's a new invented word. Nobody calls anybody astrologist, except for new age kids coming up going, it's an astrologist. <laughs> you're stupid. Can't take you seriously. Not going to pay you because you don't know what you're talking about. Oh my God. Oh my God. My God. Okay. I'm over that rant. Anyway, um, they probably aren't skilled using us. No, they're not skilled. If they knew that, they would know that they're <laughs> these that what they do online is they put the word astrologist so they can grab people who want astrology and they don't really know it. It's like people who do tarot card readings for your sign, not really astrologists. They're still only doing tarot card readings. <sighs> All right. Now, uh, those pronouns are confusing. Let's see. My phone isn't letting me chat. I see you, Laura Z. There you are. You're chatting. You're chatting, Laura Z. Um, okay, first of all, I will do a video on the eclipse where I record it, okay? I will be doing a video. Tarotologist. I know, these fucking people, these fucking people. What are or, oracle card readers? It's a type of reading. Understand, you have psychics that are no, um, no tools, okay? So they don't need tarot cards. They don't need anything. They can read, all right? So those are all your clairs. Clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentience, claircognizance whatever the clear order for whatever your nose smelling is, all of those things, okay? Uh, automatic writing, anything like that. 
th that's all coming naturally. So Oracle card readers, Oracle is a type of card. So it's an Oracle deck that they are reading from. Okay. So non-denominational psychics. Yeah, non-denominational. Exactly. So they're coming from the position of reading a certain deck of cards, which is perfectly fine. They could definitely do that. Olafactory, thank you. Oh my God, I forgot that word. I was like, you know, the sniffing. My Olafactory senses are covered in Vicks right now. Okay. Okay, Beyonce, Be Beyonce, Beyonce Usher, 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 who went to the Diddy School of Molestation, bend over and you can, you too can become a rapper. Yeah, so Diddy, who sodomy ritualed Usher, who then took Bieber in. You see how it works? You see how it works. So we should be boycotting all of these people, as I have said. Uh, clairvoyant and clairvoyance. It's the same thing. Clairvoyant, she's a clairvoyant. She is using her clairvoyance. Same thing. The person is clairvoyant, but the gift is clairvoyance. See, hear, feel. I mean, P. Diddy, he's just... <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what I think of him. My chart said my progression's going in. I don't even know what that means. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, here's the... I'm psychic medium, but lately I feel... P. Diddler. Yeah. I mean, Justin Bieber is another one. He's in the group and he's gone through the sodomy ritual, which again, they attach to the shock, chakra fields of the body. And this is how they keep track. Okay. This is, this is how they keep track of what's happening. Look at this, ma'am, please. What is I'm not doing it. What is with you, ma'am? <laughs> Who are you calling ma'am? You want a fat lip? Why are you calling me ma'am for you? You calling me old or fat? Which is it? Yeah, they didn't, they didn't used to let me call my, I was born psychic medium and I learned astrology starting at age seven, but really perfecting it at age 20. You're born a psychic medium. You can't teach it. You're born that way. It's just, you're born. I know everybody thinks everybody can do everything. I get it. He's not in jail because nobody, everybody's talking about it now, but nobody turned him in. Candace Owens, I think is controlled opposition. Sorry, I just do. Um, what's her name? Uh, oh my God. Now I just forgot her name. I can't remember her name. I just went out. It's, yes, sodomy rituals. That's all they do is sodomy rituals. They will fuck you up the ass. That is a saying for a reason. I'm going to get fucked up the ass. You know what that means. They're going to screw you over. Understand, every single one of these people in the industry is looking for a way to make money. They actually believe by doing the ritual and murdering people that they are advancing themselves. This is their religion. This is their belief system. This is what they do. Amanda Bynes, you know, I mean, honestly, Dan Schneider, Dan Schneider, you pile of shit. First of all, first of all, the most egregious thing I heard about Dan Schneider, the most egregious thing. Now, I did the videos of my eyes twitching again. <laughs> I did the videos of Dan Schneider. I talked about Dan Schneider at family events from people that worked on Nickelodeon that had to cancel, get out of those shows. Several of my clients were on those Nickelodeon shows. They were definitely mind controlled and they were definitely tortured. So here's the thing though. Nowhere on planet Earth is Dan Schneider going to get away with this. I heard the words. I heard the words. He will not be able to speak with his own voice. I heard those words. Does that mean he has a stroke? Does that mean he goes to jail? Or does that mean he loses his ability to talk for some other reason? Hi, Anthony. Anthony lost a lot of weight and is making himself healthy and sends me butter tarts. <laughs> as a conspiracy to put weight on my ass. He's like, you need butter tarts, bitch. <laughs> no, I begged him for the butter tarts. Anyway, he won't be able to speak by his own voice. I said that within two years, okay? I don't know if it means medical or he's in jail and has to speak through a lawyer or what it is, okay? The reason they do sodomy rituals is they can, okay, understand this. If you let anybody into your physical body, I don't know who. Brian Peck already had his consequences. He went to jail for Drake Bell. 
And I heard Drake Bell had an outing with an underage. But I lost two. Oh my God, that's so great. I heard Drake Bell was trying to pick up on a young. Uh, yeah, well, Charlie Sheen is common knowledge. There's nobody in Hollywood that doesn't know about Charlie Sheen. You can add Heather Locklear to that and Charlie Sheen. You can add kitty porn. You can add transgender. You can add deliberately giving people HIV and AIDS. You can add all of that stuff. You can add all of that stuff to Charlie Sheen, Sheen's repertoire. You can also add to the fact that he was born into the Sheen family, Martin Sheen, whatever, es Emilio Estevez, Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen was always gay, okay? I know, they say they're bisexual. It must be nice. I mean, you know, yeah. Anyway, um, he always, there. Charlie Sheen was born into that family. Jar Charlie Sheen was born. This was done to him. They have their kids. Their kids are raped and yacht girled and yacht boyed. However you want to word it. I don't care. They are given to other people. Now, the first one to ever out this, at least publicly. Oh, I know what Heather Locklear is. Yes, I know. I know who Heather Locklear. That's why she looks like she did. Wasn't she a gorgeous creature, Heather Locklear? I mean, wasn't she stunningly, strikingly beautiful? Where do you think that face comes from now? Yes, Anthony, Heather Locklear, when she was dating uh, Charlie Sheen. Now, I got to tell you, when I used to work and do the rap parties for Charlie Sheen, he was, for the show, Two and a Half Men, he was actually a friend of mine. We literally worked on TV. She was there when I did one of my first appearances on NBC. I was just a little kid. Anyway, she climbed the ladder. I climbed the ladder. She always kept in touch. Lovely. But Charlie Sheen was a very handsome, striking, very, very striking, like kind of beautiful in person. And I don't like him. I don't like him. He's got that Virgo. I think he's a September 3rd, Sagittarius moon, Gemini rising. It's all conflicted. And he's all fucking conflicted, okay? Conflicted. <laughs> a word for Charlie Sheen if we're going to label. But he was so handsome in person strikingly handsome, like strike a pose, beautiful. And I don't like the way he looks because I hear too much. So it's hard for me to say he was attractive, but he was very attractive. Heather Locklear, look at Denise Richards. So you're letting your daughter do OnlyFans and you're talking about it? Where do you think that comes from? Yacht girl when they're little? Yeah, I know about Charlie Sheen, but he's really good looking in person. O.J. Simpson was fucking good looking in person, okay? They were, these are good looking people. They're devoid of souls, but they're good looking. <laughs> My mother-in-law was September 3rd. Um, they, if they have, he was very handsome. And I mean, I saw him in person and I don't know who the girl was he was with. I figured it was the girl of the evening. But when he stood there in the suit, perfectly tailored, very attractive, handsome man. No doubt, you can't argue that. But then when you fucking know what he does, he becomes disgusting. Disgusting. So disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. I mean, in person, if you saw him, you'd be like, he's gorgeous. But I know the BD, I could, I could never get past Charlie Sheen, period. But when you know about Heather Locklear and Charlie Sheen and you wonder why they have all of these drug and alcohol problems when they've had every fucking thing on earth. Why? Why they got these problems? Why? Why? I'm not getting adenoid surgery. Sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. Angelina Jolie born into the family. Their look, looks. Yeah, no, looks don't mean anything. But I'm saying I was shocked. And how I found him attractive in person, which was interesting for me because I hated his guts before I worked for the Two and a Half Men show. <laughs> um, yeah, they numb the pain from what they've done to get where they are until they realize that they haven't gotten where they wanted to go. So, yeah, there's just nasal polyps. I, you know, I don't know what to say. Glamour spells. He was very good looking. Y'all are going to kill me. I have to get water. I actually have to leave the set, which is my set, to get my water. I left it in the other room. One minute, y'all. One minute. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Still wearing my workout clothes. I threw a shirt over my workout clothes. Um, 
<laughs> Tallulah Tate. Yeah, he's kind of, he's kind of, I had to get water. I'm dying of thirst. Yeah, Johnny Depp didn't escape anything. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> They're part of the club. We know what they are. It's fine. I mean, I'm sure, I don't know if it's allergies or what I have. It's just ridiculous. But um, it's a problem because we, I don't understand it. Well, first of all, I really don't understand it because we are born into families that tell us religion is correct. Heather Locklear is ashamed of what she did. That's why her shame is causing her to drink. Charlie Sheen's two youngest boys that he had with the socialite, and I cannot remember her name right off the top of my head, that Denise Richards looked after, those boys rubbed shit all over their bedroom walls. You know why little kids do that, right? You know why they take their shit and put it all over their bodies when they're little kids in their diapers? Because they figure if they're dirty, you won't rape them up their butts. Little kids do that. That is what they do when they are being sodomized. Brooke Mueller, thank you. That's what they do. I mean, I'm sorry if people don't want to hear it. That's what the fuck they do. So his two little boys do that. Of course they were SA. They're what what? They're just crazy and decided to do that? No, they're pretty smart. They figure if they dirty themselves up. Yes, really. Oh. Heather Locklear, sorry, I was dying of thirst. Heather Locklear is an alcoholic, I believe. Um, but that's what they do, that Charlie Sheen's two sons, Denise Richards, took them in but had to give them back because she could not stop them from attacking her kids and then doing that. But in the same hand, she lets her daughter, uh, well, she can't stop her daughter from working on Only OnlyFans any more than anybody could stop an adult child. <clears throat> But does she have to tell people her daughter's on OnlyFans? Like, do you need, like, why do you need to talk about it? So, yeah, that's why they do. That's why they wet their beds. That's why they do it. So, yeah, that's what they do. But you just tell me why those two kids did that. If you can prove it otherwise, then have at it. That came out of Denise Richards' mouth. That came out of Denise Smith Richards' mouth, okay? That came out of her mouth. So she was watching those kids, and that's what she said. So you have to understand, the people that we idolize on TV, the people that we talk about, well, you figure out if they're true. I mean, I, are you surprised that they're true? <laughs> I'm going to choke on this. <coughs> Are you surprised that they're true? <coughs> okay. Uh, we're not talking about autistic kids, though. These are kids that have been brutalized. I'm sure autistic kids do a bunch of stuff. Um, <coughs> yeah. Yeah, Ruby Frankie's another one. We all idolize them because we listen to them. Okay, we listen to them. I don't know what's happening during the eclipse. I haven't looked at it for the hundredth time. I'm not, I, I don't care. I don't live my life by astrology. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I like it, but I'm not going to stop living my life. So I don't care what the government says. What I can tell you, what I can, anybody who went to movies and told and watches the Oscars and did that is idolizing that's correct, is idolizing a celebrity. So anybody who is showing up at the Oscars and kissing somebody's ass, and <laughs> Terry's eyes now twitching, and kissing somebody's ass is idolizing them, okay? It's like fucking idolizing them. However, we've all been groomed. I mean, during the pandemic, we had that idiot, Julia Roberts, and I'm gonna keep calling her an idiot, Unless, of course, she'd like to sue me. But there she was gushing over Dr. Fauci, if he is really a doctor. Okay, so she was telling, the reason they put her in that, understand, she may have done Pretty Woman and done all of that stuff and whatever else she did, right? She may have done all of that. But what she's really doing is she's really setting up society to listen to her. So she is a social engineer. And because you love Julia Roberts, you're going to listen to her and get the vaccine because you're dumb as shit. She's ignorant for doing that because 
First of all, I don't care medically what you say about my body. So you have no say so over me. I don't care if you're the government. Why they're outing Princess Kate with cancer and why she feels the need to tell people, which it's not her, but why they feel the need to do it. Where's her husband in that video? Where is her husband in that video? Where? Where is he? Where is he? I don't see him. Hey, William. Where? William. Bitch, William, where are you? You're not sitting by your wife? Oh, I bet you're babysitting the kids like you went to the market with your wife. <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyway, um, it's ridiculous, okay? It's ridiculous. Yeah, he's behind the, I mean, he's a dweeb. He's, I, I just can't. I cannot. And then I saw the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Hillary Clinton pantsuit. You know how I feel about those. With Meghan Markle copying Hillary Clinton, I was like, that's it. I can never talk about this bitch again. She cannot put on a pantsuit. Why are they getting rid of Kate? Why not? They're going to kill them all. You understand when you're jumped into the gang and you cross them, they'll kill you, right? You've heard of the mafia. We're dealing with the mafia in a different way. It's just like the mafia. They'll kill you. That's it. If you want to play with MS-13, I bring them up. They'll probably come looking for me. But I'm just, it's a gang that y'all know, cartel. If you want to join that gang, then there are consequences if you do say or anything that they don't want you to do, say, or do, right? So, of course, they'll kill anybody. They will kill you. I think Meghan Markle is ridiculous. I don't know what the big deal is. I don't understand, but that's me. Yeah, she put a pantsuit on like Hillary Clinton. And I'm like, I, I don't understand the move she's doing. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I don't understand what she's doing. Like, I'm sorry, you thought Hillary Clinton was what? To be looked up to? And secondly, a pantsuit? Again, I can't do pantsuit nation unless we're going to do G-string nation. If we do G-strings, then I'll put a pantsuit on. But you know that bitch ain't wearing no G-string anyway. Um, yeah, so it might be mold. It could be mold, but it's only when I come in here and then it's gone. And it's only at certain times a day, so I'm very confused. But um, I never like the style pantsuits, I know. But Meghan Markle is ridiculous. She wants to be president. Whatever. I mean, why do we allow these people? Why? I, I don't understand. I, I must have something wrong with my mind because... Why do we allow these people in positions of power to tell us anything? Okay. You heard Dan Schneider running that network, Nickelodeon, that little bitch, Dan Schneider. You heard me, Dan Schneider, you fucking little bitch. That guy is out there and he's like, I'm sorry. Like it went through the network. Um, Yeah, they're all in your club. They're looking at the tapes way, way back, going all the way back to Joan Crawford and Betty Davis, who, by the way, acknowledges she was a Satanist in her own book. Okay, Jane Mansfield, all of them. in Back in the day, they used to rape those girls, boys, whatever they are, and then keep the videos, right? So what do you think happened at Nickelodeon with Dan Schneider? I know it happened with Brian Singer. I know it happened with Brian Singer. That I know because of the experience I had with Brian Singer. Brian Singer, Brian Peck, Mark Collins Rector, Marty Weiss, they're all buddy buddies. Where are those tapes? Where are those tapes? Okay, where are they? Dan Schneider has a house full of those tapes. So if, and you know, that documentary comes out. Now, Corey Feldman's been saying this for years. Everybody blah, blah on him. Corey Haim, I told you, I'm sure I told you the Corey Haim, Dan and his, I know, Dan Snyder's latest statement, well, the executives approved it. Yeah, because they're Phi Beta Kappa. They're known to not be indulging in raping and pillaging. Go back to Shirley Temple Black and her mother at the studio, both with men running these studios, pulling their dicks out. Shirley Temple Black was 12. The guy asked her to suck his dick <laughs> she's 12 really i've already been a child star now i have to go back and suck your dick oh i don't think so buddy i don't think so um yeah the good ship lollipop no i'm i'm being dead serious 
I'm being so yeah, Brad Renfro, I believe my instinct with him, he's still very sad. My instinct with him, Kevin Spacey, Brian Singer, uh, Hugh Jackman, good friend of Kevin Spacey's. How, Spacey's. How can you be friends with Kevin Spacey or Woody Allen? Woody Allen. Don't tell me his movies are good. I cannot hear you. His movies are juvenile. He's stupid. The only reason he got where he got is because he did what he did. And he's, no, he's not a fucking little genius, an ugly little nerd genius. All of that. I'm not being cutthroat. Why am I cutthroat when children are being raped? Why am I being cutthroat? Don't you love it? You're cutthroat. You have a big mouth. You talk too much. How about the child rapist? How about we talk about that? How about we look at Amanda Bynes, Baines, however you say it? How about we look at her and we look at Britney Spears and we ask ourselves, ask ourselves, why those girls, Brad Renfro, why those kids are, Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, why they're all on drugs, uh, Macaulay Culkin, why they are so fucked up. Oh, they're all crazy, right? No. They're raped, brutalized, sodomized, and apparently and allegedly, because I wasn't there, pregnant Amanda Bynes at 13 by her boss, which I can only assume is that ugly looking sack of fat potatoes, whatever, Mr. Potato Head, that is Edward Furlong. Look at him. Look at look at Edward Furlong's face. That I don't know if he died. Did he die? I don't know if he died, but when you look at his face, if you don't see the sodomy ritual on him, then there's something wrong with you. If you think that all these addicts, Aaron Carter, dead on, dead on. River Phoenix, that's a Johnny Depp indulgence over there. Rob Ford, Rob, I can't, I just can't. Okay, Rob Ford's the one that died, right? Yeah, so Rob Ford is on camera in Canada, Toronto, after getting caught with a tranny, you know why they're with trannies? Because their introduction to that type of sex is through men. So they don't want to be gay, so they find a transgender female, and then that makes them feel that they're not gay, okay? Like, seriously, or whatever. I don't know every single person. But there was Rob Ford standing with his family, Talking on the news as the mayor or governor or whatever of Toronto, I forget what they call it in Canada. Anthony, come back, butter tart Anthony, come back and tell me. Uh, I think he was the mayor of Toronto. But anyway, there he is talking about eating vaginas of random people that he picks up with his wife standing behind him like this. <laughs> okay, what? planet am I on? Why, why, why do you teach your Shia LaBeouf, LaBeouf, whatever his name is, all of these people, okay? All of these people are traumatized because they are systematically and ritualistically abused from childhood on. That goes for, look at the story, look at the story of Nicole Richie. Oh, her parents couldn't look after her, so they gave her. Eddie Murphy I knew of firsthand. Eddie Murphy I knew of because I worked at Children of the Night at the time and he was on the list. He was procuring underage boy girls, okay? And I know one in particular and it's not allegedly, it's for sure. He was sleeping with young boys. Well, pardon me. He was jerking off looking at their feet. He put that joke in his videos, but he was doing that. According to the 15-year-old young man that stayed at the shelter who was really dressed mayor of Toronto. Thank you, Anthony. I'm like governor, mayor, whatever. Um, but th that's what he was doing, okay? And it was with boys dressed as girls. And I know the people he was doing it with because I was working with them, okay? So it's not, and it's 10 years I was pregnant with Keith. So that happened after Keith was born that he got caught with the transgenders. Driving them home. Okay, sure. Sorry, dying of thirst. But an Alan Thick. Okay, I couldn't figure this out, but back, okay, I have to only go by the age of my kids. Keithy was like three. So my friend Courtney, we had to do a game show. Her, her husband, Al, and me. And it was Sony game show. And it, so the kids and John, they drove me up there and it was... With them, Alan Thicke was the host. I never met Alan Thicke. 
My friend dated him back in the 80s, but I never dated, I dated, I never met him myself. Anyway, um, so John and them couldn't even talk to me because we were locked in a trailer. Like it was Fort Knox. I ate my dinner too fast, y'all, when I was coming in from the whatever. Anyway, <laughs> um, Keefe was like three, so he'll be 29 this year. So that's like however many, 26 years ago. So Alan Thicke was the host and I found him like a sto stone cold drunk without being drunk. I could not get through a stone wall of his energy. He was very on point, like I'm Alan Thicke in this just straight looking. You couldn't get him to smile. He had the, you couldn't get any like response from him. So MK Ultra comes to mind. MK Ultra, okay. Lee Thompson Young doesn't isn't she okay? Yeah, we were locked in a trailer. <laughs> yeah, I ate my dinner too fast. No, we were locked in a trailer. I was not allowed out of that trailer, according to the Sony. Like I was held hostage by Sony. <laughs> I was held hostage by Sony Pictures for a stupid game show. Now, when I worked with, I, I'm just thinking about this going back. Okay, so I've told you Ray Combs' story. So I know Ray Combs in different genres. So I know Ray Combs from the strip club. He was not interested in me, just so we're very clear. Um, Ray Combs would be 10 years younger than John on the same day, April 3rd, 1956. So he would be turning 68 this year if he lived. Ray Combs, Family Feud, um, whatever else he did. Anyway, um... Ray Combs, I met him first in the strip clubs when he used to come to see this girl, this one particular girl. She was a former, she was born male and had transgendered. She worked in our club and he liked her. So that's who he came to see. Now, he wouldn't fucking recognize me because when I met him again, I had clothes on. <laughs> and he wasn't looking for my kind of clothes, okay? So anyway, when I met him the second time, actually... The second time he dated a friend of mine that worked in his neighborhood. She kind of had an affair with him or whatever. Dated him. I don't know if he was saying, I don't really know. But anyway, he was seeing somebody that I knew. And I was like, okay. So there was obviously like some kind of sex addiction going on there. And then the time that I met him, I worked on a TV show the next time called The Love Psychic. And he was the host. So you know that his life was... It, when these formerly very successful comedians, TV hosts and everything, when they end up on a psychic show, you know their life is going fucking downhill. Psychic is like being, it is worse than porn in Hollywood. Like they all go to psychics, but they all talk to them like they're worse than porn. And they like porn now. So I don't know how that, where that puts psychics. Mm -hmm. Sorry for gulping. I'm so thirsty. But anyway, we, he was the host of that show. It was in Hollywood and we were filming it and he'd had a really bad car accident. I think he told me like 10 years before I was doing his chart. He was perfectly nice and perfectly great. Eddie Murphy. Yeah, I married in April 3rd. God knows what I'm going to find out after he leaves the planet. But anyway, um, anyway, not, not, <laughs> no, I'm not a Virgo. You'd like to think I was a fucking Virgo, but I'm not. Um, but anyway, um, I know. <laughs> I know, right? It's confusing. But anyway, Ray Combs, he was perfectly fine, lovely gentleman, and I liked him. So when I heard that he, again, and committed suicide while he was on a suicide watch in the hospital, I have a hard time with that. What the hell are you doing in the hospital on a suicide watch committing suicide? Do you understand? Like, you've got one fucking job in the hospital, and the job is, when you're on the suicide ward, to stop people from doing that. So what the actual hell are you doing? I know, she's so, she's so sweet. She's waiting for the mashed potatoes and chicken I have in the other room. And the macaroni. Yes, I said macaroni. Yes, I know. I married somebody on April 3rd. Both of, and Brando's April. This should tell you April 3rd how fucked up it is. April 3rd, Brando in his diaper, my friend, well, I, I always am name dropping, but I don't speak to this friend anymore. But anyway, 
she had dinner with Brando in his later years, a bunch of people from Hollywood. And she told me like he literally dressed like it was a Roman toga or diaper. Um, anyway, he was like very rotund at the time. I always liked Brando. I always fucking loved Marlon Brando. But you have to understand, yes, yes. And I got the call when Scott died from somebody who knew him. I got the call. I get a lot of calls. David Carradine died. I get the call. I get the call. Psychics get the call to see what happened. Um, would you do him? Would I do Brando? He's been dead a long time. I don't think I can go there. I think Brando was more gay than straight. I mean, maybe he was both. I don't know. But he was a very good looking man, but he was too self-indulgent. Like, I do like that he spoke up for natives. Absolutely. We should all like, what's his name? <laughs> Dancing with Wolves. What's his name? Oh my God, what the hell is his name? His name. Uh, yeah, we should all like him because he speaks up for natives too. Um, yes, Brando did abuse his daughter. I'm sure Brando abused all his children. I'm sure he shot his daughter's girlfriend and blamed it on Christian. And I told you that, Costner, Kevin Costner. Y'all should be supporting Kevin Costner because he speaks up for Native American people continually his whole career. Like that, Brando slept with, with, um, Richard Pryor. I mean, if you're not gay, why are you doing that? That's a little bit more than bisexual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am so thirsty. I don't know what I ate that was so salty. Anyway, um, the chat is being weird. I think Jennifer Lopez is being exposed right now. Brando was a sicker, sick, sicker, <laughs> sicko. I'm just saying when I was a kid, he was beautiful. I heard Brad Pitt has a very small, whatever, appendage. Anyway, you know what happened um, when Robert Blake was accused of killing his baby mama at the, now I've forgotten the name of Vitello's, the Italian restaurant. Okay, so I'm telling you the Vitello's, okay? So after that happened, John, John took the kids on a field trip there uh one Chris or it was New Year's Eve all the kids in the, in our little neighborhood we went there to eat dinner <laughs> to sit in that booth because we are sick anyway um size does matter don't kid yourself um sorry I had to say it I'm just gonna say it but when you're looking at uh Robert Blake he was accused of killing that baby mama so that baby mama I can't remember her name she came to me and one of my best friends who's been dead since she was 43, both of us, for readings because she didn't know who the baby daddy was. She was screwing Christian Brando and Robert Blake. So that's what she was doing. She was screwing both of them. And so when that happened to her, we were interviewed by the police, my friend and I. We worked in the same store at the time and we were both interviewed for it. Because she had come to us both asking who was the baby daddy. Bonnie, Bla Bonnie Lee Blakely. Yeah, she had come to us both trying to get readings. Asking who was her kid. She did not know which one. She thought it was Christian Brando. And then she thought it was Robert Blake. And I guess it was Robert Blake, right? Ooh, you won the lottery. Cool. So as for Madeline Soto, I'm going to say this again. If Brando slept with Jean James Dean, that seems kind of cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Get out of my head. Image gone. All right. Anyway, uh, Madeline Soto, her, I can't even with that mother. I can't even, um, I have a real problem with that mother and what she allowed to have happened to her child. I have a real fucking problem real problem, like a huge problem. Okay. Like I can't even tell you a huge problem. I don't understand. I don't. Yeah. Wally Cox. Exactly. I'll tell you another story. Okay. I'll tell you another story. Okay. So this is a story coming from John when he was dating someone. He's not supposed to have a life before me, but since he did have a full-on family and then had a divorce and then had a girlfriend in between, the wife and me, the second wife, the girlfriend in between grew up, I believe she was adopted, 
She grew up in a very well-known family in the Valley. The family worked in the industry with a very well-known animal, okay, like a famous animal. I don't know. I'm trying not to out the person. Anyway, they had family parties at that house, and she was molested as a child when these actors came into the house. Like, it's part of what went on in her in her thing, okay, in her thing. Oh, look at that. There's a troll calling me a fake psychic again. Yes. Um. Okay. Why the trolls say fake? Why don't you say fake fucking doctor, fake lawyer, fake TV person, fake Gavin Newsom, fake Justin Trudeau, fake Queen Elizabeth, fake Kate Middleton? <laughs> Why don't you say that shit? Paul Newman was gay. Paul Newman was gay. I know somebody that worked. Fake trolls, fake ass troll bitches. <laughs> Melanie Griffith. You know, I love Don Johnson. Like, I was ready to be his baby mama when I was a teenager. Don't repeat that to anybody. But Don Johnson, when you look at it, what was he, like 24 and Melanie Griffith was like 14? How can you respect him? And then on one of his TV shows, um, one of the actresses that played the underage girl on the TV show used to come for readings. And I heard enough. I heard enough. I heard shit. Yeah, Gavin Newsom. Oh my God, Gavin. Don Johnson was off awesome, but he's not a good person. So yeah, Christian Brando did die of pneumonia, I believe. Um, yeah, so Serbia. Hi from Serbia. Oh my God, there's this cute girl that was in my T-Mobile store, <laughs> working in the T-Mobile store. And she went to Serbia during COVID and said that they weren't wearing uh, masks or anything. Like she, I think it was Serbia, she said. Anyway, she was a darling. All right, you just reminded me of her. But um, all of that aside, yeah. So thoughts on the weekend. I have absolutely no thoughts on the weekend. <laughs> Paul Newman, Paul Newman was gay. Like that, definitely. He was stunningly gorgeous, but too short. I mean, it. In relative, his face, he had face and eyes, but he was gay. I know someone who worked with him. And as for Amanda B Bynes, I always say it wrong, outing John Travolta, common knowledge, common knowledge back to when I was a kid, common knowledge, okay? He, I have friends that worked with him because when you're living in California, you have people that work in the industry, everybody, everybody on the set of John Travolta's movies would quit and they'd have to be rehired. I'm talking about young men because we know Travolta is a gropey, self-entitled, Scientologist, stick his dick everywhere kind of guy. So when you're looking at John Travolta, just understand that he sticks his dick anywhere and everywhere and understand that when his son died, he literally was with the help in the house, not watching the son. That was broke on the, that broke on the news so like, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, community penis, that's what he is, yeah, suddenly his wife died of cancer too, they all get cancer suddenly, hi, I have cancer, yeah, okay, and Richard, no, don't tell me Richard Simmons is gay, Richard Simmons is gay, you know, um, so, where is Richard Simmons, really? Like, Chester was murdered, yes. I know Chester was murdered. He stood in front of me and said, I did not kill myself. That's what started this whole channel. Chris Cornell, Chester Bennington, and Princess Diana. Way back, me and Keith. Keith told me, start the channel, just do it. I had 60 people. That's what started the channel. John Travolta couldn't be gayer. He is so gay that it's not even funny. So ask yourself about Kelly Preston, what her mindset was in this life and what unfortunate dating habits she had. Dating Charlie Sheen, being engaged, I believe, and being shot in the arm by Charlie Sheen on accident. <laughs> I've done that to people on accident because I'm fucking mad at them and it isn't an accident. And then uh, marrying John Travolta and then ending up dead. Yeah. Poor Kelly Preston. I mean, uh, why? But see, John Cena, or whatever his name is, Naked Boy at the Oscars, like, okay, you look gross. Okay, maybe it's because I'm old now. I don't really want to see random 
man naked. I don't really like, no, I don't like, why do they think that we want to see that? Why is that even funny? Why is that funny? Why is that funny? It's not funny. <laughs> it's not. Yes, Jet died because uh, the dad, Travolta, was at a party in their house and he was with the help. I don't know if that means the nurse, the nanny, whoever, allegedly, because I wasn't there for that, but that's what broke on the papers. So his son drowned in the, it's always drowning in the bathtub too. Like how many people fucking drown in a bathtub? Like we should remove bathtubs because it seems to be, yeah, Vince McMahon, McMahon and his daughter trafficking, <laughs> trafficking, trafficking, trafficking. So Wendy Williams, mind control and they fractured the brain. Same with Bruce Willis with whatever they do. Um, that's what I think they do. I, you know, I don't know what to say. I can't talk about Alec Baldwin because he's also April 3rd. And I want to punch him in the face, Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin is just plain stupid and stupid. And his wife, Hilaria, is not hilarious, nor is she Spanish. I'm Hilaria. You've got the whitest babies on planet Earth, you mental patient. You're Spanish, like I'm a tall ba black basketball player, okay? That's how Spanish you are. And I'm in the NBA, and you're a nut, and you're having sex with Alec Baldwin. God, I just threw up in my mouth. Anyway, <laughs> I'm like, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even. I know Hillary isn't Spanish. Hilaria. I'm Hilaria. <laughs> we are watching mental illness. What? I mean, if there is mental illness, she's exhibiting it. But see, she's a traumatized kid. And that is one of her fractured personalities. So, yeah, Jojo Siwa. I, I saw a video of her this morning. She just looks like a rugged lesbian right now. Like she should be in like Spokane or something. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe that wasn't her. I don't know who I was looking at. <laughs> I was looking at. They put those kids on videos and in magazines with the family so that people can purchase the kids. I know you don't fucking believe me, but that's what they do. Her fake accent, someone on a bitch slapper. But see, that's her personality that's hidden away in her brain, okay? She has altered personalities. Alec Baldwin is just needing to be bitch slapped from here to Tokyo. Like shut, shut, dude, shut up. Shut the fuck up, Alec Baldwin. Shut up. Is he guilty? I don't know. What do you think? It's his movie. He's taking all the money being the producer. So like that means he has to, his chat is mental. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, this chat is mental. Uh, she looks like a rugged lesbian. I don't know what to say. Like she's from Spokane. <laughs> I saw the picture. She doesn't look like Jojo Siwa, like with her ponytails <laughs> and her shit. Nicolas Cage drives me insane. I can't. Oh, and Nicolas Cage. Who? Here's the question. Sorry, the fake mic. Who changed, I have the good mic over there. I got to bring it out for next one. Who changed their name so they could be famous? <laughs> oh. oh yeah, Nicholas Ford Coppola. Like we are, we are forced to watch these people because of who gave birth to them. Yeah, the Baldwins are ridiculous. Alex, of course he's guilty. He's the producer. It's it's on his dime. He's like the house mother of the house, except he probably is a female. Anyway, he's the house mother of the house. He hires the people. He's responsible for the people. He somehow had a woman hired, he hired to check the guns and she left a bullet in the... Jesus. Nicholas Cage, I don't even know what to say about Nicholas Cage. I can't. Why do I have to watch him on movies? The only movie that I thought he was really good in was Valley Girl. 
<laughs> it goes back to the 80s. And he hadn't had his teeth fixed yet. And he wasn't all like with the nose job and the weird haircut trying to be all this. He wasn't all that. Okay. Like he wasn't all that. Um, is Madonna mummy? One would think so. Right? One would think so. Um, Travis Scott, don't know what to make of him. I haven't checked into it yet. I do want to do a video on, um, they just forgot their names, Lyle and Eric Menendez. Because I said back then they were sexually abused. They, look at the repercussions. Look at the, look at the, look at that family of Lyle and Eric Menendez. Look at that father, okay, trying to one-up everybody by joining the club and having money, marrying his wife and raping his boys and raping other people. Like, yeah, I'd have killed them too. I mean, is it that bad? I don't know what to say. Used to, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, did he? I, yeah, I don't know what to say. I find Clint Eastwood movies extremely boring because he never really says anything and they're really kind of stupid. So, I mean, I know everybody built him up as a big whatever. Good. That's good. Um, they're all into rich, witchcraft, witchcraft. Because they use, okay, let's look at it this way. Even when you do manifestation, it is manipulation of energy. So when you are manifesting, you are manipulating, okay? Manipulation means it's not on the natural path. Everybody manifesting and manipulating their bullshit is causing a bunch of other bullshit to go on. When you're talking about Beyonce, I think we would know she's doing black magic when she wrote a song about using the Bible to rip the pages out and wipe her menstrual blood. I mean, do you need any other, like, are you going to give her a pass for saying that? I mean, is that okay? Like, is that okay? <laughs> I vote witchcraft. I know, witchcraft. Oh my God. Anyway, that's what she wrote. Those are her lyrics. Everybody met Hilaria. I'm Hilaria and I'm Spanish. <laughs> Shut up, you stupid bitch. Okay, so she wrote that. Yeah, she wrote that. Now, the definition of manifesting for yourself, we're, okay, first of all, we are a country of self-entitled people, myself included, because when we manifest, we think of it from, or at least I used to think of it from this perspective, I want this, so I want to have a big career, I want to have a house, I want to have a car, I want a Porsche, whatever. And you're trying to manifest it. I want a husband, I want her husband. It's all about you, selfish you, selfish you. The true way to manifest in any circumstance for anything you want is not to focus on one thing. It is to literally focus on the smile on your face and being happy. That's how you manifest, enjoying what you're doing at the moment, not planning and plotting to get the big house, to get this. The manifestation that we are taught is bullshit. It doesn't work. And you know it doesn't work because if you lived in Haiti and you wanted to manifest food because you don't have any fucking food and your manifestation for an entire year, every year, yeah, you're not getting food because they've blocked it down. Right, I'm still poor. Exactly. And it isn't just changing your vibration because this planet, we've gone through tremendous um, energetic shifts. So the best thing you can do to manifest is not manifest. Just live your life. Just take one step every day towards whatever it is you're doing. Focusing on what you want to be because you want to be something is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to drink so much water, I'm going to have to pee them. Okay. So I ate some macaroni. That's probably what it is. I saw this chick on TikTok, this, this, this disgusting human being, and she's talking about pedophilia and she's like so like they're born that way okay back it up she goes the science says they're born that way what science on the little baby in utero is telling you that that little baby wants to have sex with another baby when it's 50 said no one ever okay so just shut the hell up with that stop trying to fucking normalize it 
you are stupid. And if you say that shit, I'm going to hunt you down and find you. We're going to have a conversation. <laughs> That's what this stupid bitch was saying. She's like, you've got it. That's why they want you to trust the science. Never trust the science. Never trust anybody. Do your own research for yourself, okay? Do your own. No, babies don't know what they are, okay? Yeah, I know. They. I, if I was in the LGBTQ, whatever it is, community, I would not accept pedophiles. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't accept pedophiles, period. Like, no, even if you have the urge to do it, I have the urge to kick ass every day. I have the urge to get out of the freeway in my car, take a baseball bat and fucking annihilate somebody's front window. Do I do it? No. You know what I say to myself? You can't do that. So like, move on, sister, just move on. <laughs> yeah, they can't do it. But someone like Madeline Soto, her mother is worse than the guy that committed the crime. And here is why. You are the mother of that child. You have one job, and that is to protect your child. You knowingly let that guy in the house and allowed the sexual acts to happen. You are guilty. I don't care if you're trauma bonded. You are a fucking bitch who got your daughter murdered. And you're so jealous of your daughter that you talked about her birthday party and you weren't there because you went to work and you talked about things and you lied about them to cover your own ass so you could get to your man. I hope you burn in hell. That's what I hope. You are a being. You are a horrible human being. You deserve more punishment than the loser man. I expect that from him. I don't expect it from the mother of a child. I just don't. They're not going to ban TikTok. Be serious. The reason they want to ban TikTok has nothing to do with China, okay? Because we're already China's bitch. Look where all your shit from Amazon comes from. They're not going to ban TikTok. What they don't want is they don't want TikTok competing with Facebook and Instagram. That's what they don't want, okay? She's jealous of her daughter because the guy liked her daughter. Instead of protecting her daughter, she literally threw her daughter to the husband so she could watch him fuck her daughter, watch him molest her daughter. She participated. You can mark my words on that. And then... She probably killed her daughter because her daughter probably mouthed off. I can't even. I cannot even. I can't even. It makes me enraged. It makes me enraged. Um, yeah, they want to own TikTok. That's exactly right. They don't, they want to monopolize everything. What's up with April 3rd? We're just saying don't date anybody on April 3rd. <laughs> According to Alec Baldwin, uh, um, what's his name? Brando and um, it's sodomy. I'll tell you, uh, Brando and uh, oh my God, Eddie Murphy and and uh, Ray Combs. Okay, so sodomy because the quickest way. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to look at your body. Okay, so the chakra is above your crown chakra, crown, top of the head, third eye. All right, all the way down the chakra system. The easiest way to harness every single chakra and to traumatize in order to harness power is through sodomy ritual. That is what they do. That is what they do. That is their belief system. That's why they're all, it's not that they're necessarily all gay. They're using that ritual in order to harness energy. They hide behind our energy. They steal our energy. They covet our energy. They kill somebody off in order to take their energy they do shit like that, okay? They do shit like that. That is why. I do have the sniffles. I have the sniffles all the time. I come into work. I have the, was Tupac sexually involved with men? I heard he was. Yeah, he's not going to get out of it. He's not going to be Tupac and born into the family of the Black Panthers. That's a political Illuminati family. You're not being born into that family without going through that shit, period. According to his former wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, Joke. That's a joke. A bad one. Don't say, oh, no, not. That's you idol. <laughs> yes, all of them. Okay, all of them. I'm sorry if, if everybody's butthurt about it, but it's the thing. 
They're not going to give you that kind of money and that kind of power without taking energy from you. So it's an energetic thing, not necessarily, uh, yeah, Jan, Dan Snyder, double Capricorn, and what the hell was his moon in? He's a double Capricorn. Oh, no. Double Capricorn, sun and moon, Aries rising. I did his chart on the last video. I dislike Dan Schneider more than anything on planet Earth. I dislike the fact that he thinks and feels entitled to doing what he did. I hate him. Okay? I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. Um, I also dislike tremendously yet another Aries, which would be Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner was a CIA operative that used women and their shenanigans in order to trap, seduce, and blackmail other people. That's who he was. He also fucked animals. This is coming from some of the women that lived in his house who caught him fucking their little dog. I don't know what kind of little dog, but the fact that you found it okay to have sex with an animal means that you are disgusting. And you uh, have an... Yes, they say that about Hugh Hefner. Yeah, of course he was in Pizzagate. Oh my God, Hugh Hefner used to donate money to Children of the Night, which is where I worked at the time. And he used to donate money to there, okay? Their good deeds outweigh their bad, okay? Their good deeds outweigh their bad. So if we fuck one dog over here and we donate money over here, we're good. That isn't how it works, though. Not how it works. But anyway, they think it does work that way. So um, is Jamie's baby is fugly, then he's the father. Jamie's baby looks like inverted baby. So Jamie Lynn Spears, the picture that they showed looks like that. Whatever, some something's been done. Looks like fake hair or something. I don't know what. Karmic retribution. I hope so. Yeah, Hugh Hefner obviously treated women horribly because Hugh Hefner was in the sex business. The sex business is about the trafficking and degradation of women and encouraging a whole group of men in our society to watch porn with other men fucking women in multiple group scenes and sex and choking them, that's a plus, while shaving off all their pubic hair to look more pedophilic in nature. And then, you know, fucking them up every orifice, everywhere and everything. That's what we taught our children by allowing that to be on all of this shit. That's what happened, okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, they like to hurt women. They hate us. They hate us. They hate us. They hate women. Hefner hated women. I mean, hated women. I don't know if I believe you won 300,000, but he was a straight up demon, of course. Of course, Alec Baldwin is friends with Woody Allen. If Woody Allen wasn't Woody Allen, would you look at him? I mean, I'm just gonna, let's just back this up a bit. Okay, let I stopped. Well, I never liked Woody Allen movies, so it wasn't hard for me to give him up. I never thought he was a creative genius. I thought he was a fucking ugly little asshole who wrote immature concepts and why they gave him green lighting money for his movies. I don't know, but you know, he probably sucked dick in his little sweater and his corduroys. Anyhow, he's like Billy, Billy Gates there wearing the corduroys and the fucking. <laughs> anyway, Woody Allen. So he gets with Mia Farrow, right? And she's been with Andre, Andre, Andre Prevon, and she adopts a daughter, a little Asian girl, and that's her daughter. So Woody comes into the relationship and knows that Mia has a daughter. I don't care. As an adopted person, if I hear somebody say, but they're not blood, I'm going to punch them in the face. That adopted child thought she was in that family. So just know that, okay? And then Woody Allen, he's so cool he starts taking fucking pictures of her naked when she's 14 and 15 and hiding them so he can jerk off. That's what he's doing. Meanwhile, he's also diddling his daughter, Dylan, who is his biological daughter. And they're calling everyone crazy. And then Soon Yi marries Woody Allen. Do they have their own children? 
No, they go and adopt two more daughters. This is how he's getting around, justifying in his head that those are his kids. Because he's saying, well, they're not my blood. But I'll just speak to you as an adopted person, okay? We don't have a choice but to come into your fucking family because our asshole parents gave us up or whatever. So we can't be with our blood. So when we come into your family adopted, we assume we're your kid because we have no other hope in hell. So when you fuck us because you think we're not your blood, you're traumatizing us again, assholes. So Woody Allen ought to be locked up in jail for that. Yeah, no, it really happened. That's really what he did. That's really what that man did. Yes, when you're adopted, you have to accept the family that takes you in. You're like an orphaned puppy. You got to go to that family and you're like, this is my family. But is it your family? Apparently not in Woody Allen's case. He didn't have the decorum to even step away and screw somebody else's daughter that he's not dating. I mean, and Sunni, quite frankly, I know they're not human. I know. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Oh, was D Dylan was adopted? I thought Dylan was his. I thought Dylan was actually his. The point is, he's a grown fucking man. That's the point. The point is, why is he such a lecherous loser that he can't communicate with a grown ass woman his own age? No, because they'd probably mace him with bear spray. That's why. Um, he is disgusting. He is disgusting. Yeah, Dylan is biological was my understanding. And yeah, that's what, I mean, they're, I don't even think they're lost souls. They do this for money. They do it for money, power, and fame. So anybody supporting Woody Allen at this point, you, you should question them. He should get no support. He also was on Epstein Island. He liked younger girls under the age of 12 and he liked them to call them grandpa and he liked to take pictures of their little bodies. So he's a voyeur. That's what he, and he liked them to touch him and call him grandpa. So you know his grandfather diddled him. That's what that's saying. So his first little orgasm was from his grandfather. Start thinking critically and start fucking attacking these people for what they do. Don't accept it anymore. It's disgusting. Let's see. Uh, I don't have a, I'm screwed. Yeah, if you have a 28-year age gap, it's wrong. Anybody with decades, and I married somebody two decades older than me. It's not, that's not normal. <laughs> I know my background. I know why I did it. But that is not normal for, that, that any, okay, okay. It's just, I. an age does matter, okay? Age does matter. Especially when you adopt a child. He, Woody Allen didn't adopt her, but he dated her mother. So he shouldn't have been touching his stepdaughter. Period. She was already adopted and that. Just period. Okay? It's true. Uh, I don't think anybody is good on planet Earth. Barely. <laughs> Age does matter. Age does matter. It absolutely does. I was married 36 years to somebody who was 21 years, 20 and a half years older, 21 and age does matter. Age matters. It absolutely matters. And so most people, when they age, the older one can't handle that you're younger and you have more life. And they're a little bit stunted that they would go after you. What's that about? I'm going to say it because I did it. So like you can yell at me all you want. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. But you can do what you want. But don't think, I mean, if you're dating somebody that's your kid's age, there's a problem with you. Yeah, growing old as hell. I am a cat lady. <laughs> cat lady. Um, yeah, I'm speaking facts. I mean, it's fine. I love my husband, ex-husband, whatever. But it's true. Would I do a disservice and date somebody younger? No, I would not. And least of all, Jason's age. Can you imagine that? Hi, Jason. Here's my new boyfriend. He's your age. <laughs> Watch him get his ass kicked coming in the front door. Ass kicked and out. That would be just hilarious. Yeah, I don't think he'd tolerate that. Um, I don't think he'd tolerate it. Yeah, husband. Well, 36 years of marriage, ex-husband, husband, whatever. Um, so it's the same thing. Thank you. Do you offer energy readings? 
My website's open. I do readings. If it's not, I don't. And stop emailing me going, if I pay you privately, will you do a reading? The answer's no. That's why I have a website. Because I don't want to work 24 hours a day because I'm a bitch like that. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see. My BFS husband left her for a 33-year-old week before she got her. Of course he did. Of course, Beth, he did. Of course. I look around 40. That's nice of you to say. In real life, I look around 60 because we're right there. We're right the fuck there. And my ex, uh, John and I, our divorce was final last, the end of last year. We separated in 2019 and then Keith died. And so that didn't go so well. And then we fought the entire two years after Keith's passing. And then the divorce was finalized uh, this, I think, 2023, November, October, something like that. So was, this would be year 37, 38. We're still together. We have grandchildren. So we are, oh, I, don't re I don't recommend manifesting. I recommend putting a smile on your face and enjoying what you do regardless of what it is. That way, other things that put a smile on your face will come to you. When you focus on something you don't have, you're telling the universe you don't have it. So if you say, I want a black plant holder, I'm just making that up. I have to have it. I want it. You're telling the universe you don't have it. Okay? You're telling the universe you don't have that. So the better way to manifest is to enjoy what you have. That's it. Just enjoy what you have. I know most men lie so much. I know. I just said, I'm quoting Megan Fox. There are no magic dicks. <laughs> she said it, not me. Um, I, I've heard about human design, yes. No, don't say what you want because it means you don't have it. So you have everything you need. So start focusing on being happy because happiness is the only thing that's going to maneuver things around you. Let's see. Um, that's how, that's why these people, okay? That's why these people, they want to cheat and they want to get the money ahead of time. They want to be the famous. They want to do this. They're cheating. And then you're feeling like you are less than because you don't have what a Kardashian. I do not date. Never ask me that. I'll scratch your eyes out. <laughs> no, I don't date. You couldn't make me date. There's nothing anybody could say to, and I'm twitching again. There's nothing anybody could say to me to make me date ever. No, I will never date again. I will never go near the opposite sex again or my sex. I'm not dating any sex, okay? I am a cat lady. No, I'm just waiting to die. Single isn't better or not better. I'm literally waiting to die. So that's it. I spent my life with my children. That's it. That's all I wanted. I can't slow the chat down. We've tried. It doesn't work on the phone. It just doesn't work. Anyway, um, I am saying that, and I mean that. <laughs> I would never date. Soon I'll be too old. I'll be too whatever, and no one will care. I will never fucking date. Hear me clearly. I am so put off the idea that there is anybody out there that can actually be in a relationship and bring equity and fairness to it that absolutely the fuck I will never date. I am 58. You guys don't want me. I had this conversation with John because he's like, oh, you'll find somebody. Now, first of all, bitch, I didn't marry you <laughs> 37 years ago to have you say that to my face. Okay? Like when I was young and cute, you used up all the young and cute. And now I'm a middle-aged woman. You cause me problems, so I have to leave. And then tell me I'm going to find somebody. Because when you were 42, you decided to date somebody 20 and a half years younger than you. Not your own age. And you sure as fuck didn't marry them your own age. So men don't do that. But it doesn't matter because I don't want to. But I'm just proving a point here. This is my point. So yeah, it doesn't matter if you're beautiful or not. No one cares. Men don't care. They just look for somewhere to stick it, okay? They don't care what you look like. They don't care. There's so many case and points I can prove this. I mean, Hilaria has a boyfriend <laughs> and she's mental, okay? They don't care what you look like. Um, yeah, some people need a relationship. I'm not really one of those. Um, I'm just not. 
I found it very difficult because you have to consider another person and I really just wanted to raise my children and have a peaceful life. I don't find that if you're in a relationship with men that they're peaceful. That's all I'm saying. They're not really peaceful. A straight man. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't. Why do they hate women? I don't know. Look at society. Why do you think? Do you think Hugh Hefner liked women? Is that respectful what he did? Having 16 wives or whatever the hell he did? Is any Mormon guy respectful? Sister wives? That's respectful. We're supposed to swallow that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There is no peace in marriage. You marry into a family. You marry into a family. And if somebody in that family is a fucking asshole, you're stuck with them at every Christmas, every everything. That is why. That is why I made an absolute fucking... <laughs> I will not say anything about any of my kids' relationships in who they date, how they date, only that if I see something out of line, will I speak up at a time? Other than that, I don't care. Black, white, Asian, tall, shin, thin, short, gay, straight. I don't care. I got nothing to say. I will never say anything. Never. Not my, not my, not doing it. Not doing it. Never. Don't care. Not doing it. Yeah, I know. I won't be a mother-in-law. I'm only there to support the partner, the family, my children. That's it. My other child, my other one's dead. You know that. But um, anyway, yeah, my one child left. That's it. And I won't do it. I won't cross them. I've learned if you don't cross people, I'm not against buying their love either. I'm not against doing that. Um, I'm not against cooking their love. Uh, I will do whatever I have to do. That's what I will do. That's it. I will stay in their lives no matter what, for any reason, I will do whatever they need, want. I will listen to their bullshit or not bullshit. I will do whatever. So you will never get out of me where I won't do that, period. So there, that's it. And that's all I want. Oh, I remember when Woody pulled that BS. Yeah, right. I'm gay and my mom still doesn't know. Tell your mom, what the hell? I bet your mom knows. We all know our kids. Uh picture Kate bald and vampire Kate. I can't go there. I can't go there with that. <laughs> no companions. No, I'd have to talk to them. Fuck them. I don't want anybody in my life. I don't want them. I don't trust anybody to let them in my life. Mm -mm. Sorry. Uh, I wish I could say I did, but I don't. I do not trust a single person. I can't even, I, people talk to me all the time and I'm like, are they lying? Like, I can't even tell in my own head. That's how much I can't tell, okay? I just assume they're lying, nod, agree, whatever, and go about my business. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I feel everything's a trap on this planet. Yeah, I, I really can't trust. If you trust people on this planet, John Legend is a big piece of crap. Uh, most of the time they're lying. Yeah, that's what I think. I think people are fucking lying all the time. I don't care. I don't need anything from anyone, so I have no reason to lie to you. I don't care. I definitely am not calling you up asking you for $80 and threatening to kill you if you don't give me $80. So whoever is doing that to you is, you know it's not me, right? I'm going to say it again. Anyway, <laughs> she's really cute. That's Tallulah. Yeah, that's Tallulah. Tallulah, I trust none no one. Yes, I think Epstein jumped bodies. So I think Epstein is an entity that jumped bodies. So he's in a different body is what I would say. Yeah. No, Kate didn't have a nervous breakdown. She's one of, Kate is one of them, okay? No, but, oh. ah, <laughs> nobody in the royal family is getting into the royal family without having a connection through ancestry, DNA. Look at my eye is totally twitching. DNA, lineage, um, any of, they're, they're not. They're literally getting into that family because they have agreed to play that game. So do I think Elvis is still alive? I can't with that. No, I do not. I think Elvis was gay too. Just so you all know, I actually think Elvis was gay. I don't think he's Pastor Bob, but I do think he's gay. That's what I think. 
Yeah, the husk wasn't ready yet. Exactly. I don't, I, I think they're, um, I think Princess Kate is probably, I don't think, she, I, I just, why would you, okay, ladies. <laughs> oh God, God help me. Okay, why does, okay, how do I want to word this? How many women do you think, okay, have nervous breakdowns because their husbands cheat or even have kids with other people? Are we not taught that that's what men do? Are we not taught that that's what men do? I mean, nowhere was I ever taught anything different. I was always taught, you will get married, that man will disappoint you, fuck you over, probably cheat on you, if not steal your money, steal everything about you. And so you're telling me that a princess who is in that kind of tyranny family is unaware she did not have a nervous breakdown. I mean, she may have for other reasons, but it wasn't because he was cheating, okay? I mean, we know men cheat in positions of power. That's all they do, okay? I mean, that's what they do. <laughs> if she had a nervous breakdown, it's because she couldn't escape it. Um, but I don't really, I feel like she's involved in everything and I they're, they all are, they smile, with their little fangs. Remember, he's Count Dracula's family. Okay, so I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. She she knows what she signed. So did Princess Di. Princess Di was no fucking angel either. Okay, she came from that kind of family. And it is said that at her, I don't know what you call it, before she married that hideous husband of hers, Prince Charles. I'm sorry, Keaton Charles. King Charles, he's out of sight. And Camilla's not doing her job. Why are you paying these bitches taxes? I know, she's like, <laughs> why? <laughs> Amanda Baines has been tortured, okay? Is Diana really Melania, Mel Melania oh, Trump's wife? No. I mean, I don't think so, but all right. Yeah, Chameleon is a cyborg. <laughs> I'm sorry. If anybody actually listened to us on here, they'd call us cuckoo. That's why I remain sober. <laughs> oh my God, right? I hate King Charles and here's why I hate him. I hate him simply put, simply put, because King Charles had the audacity to phone up his lover and tell her he wanted to be a tampon. <laughs> as soon as I heard that, I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Um, I can't. Uh, Diana had a very strange looking face. She had really big ears and a very, um, very unusual face. She looked a little bit like, I don't know. I don't want to say it, but she had a very odd looking face. If you actually look at, yeah, they're all interbred. So first of all, they're incestuous. They tell us not to have incest with each other, <laughs> but they're like, oh yeah. Okay. Because your royalty and all of these idiots in all these countries are going to like watch your stupid kids get married, carry a train, watch you get married, run around in a gold carriage on your money. Okay. Fuck them. Take your carriage, shove it up your ass. There is no people's princess. That was all a setup. It's all a setup. They, oh, Diana looked like she was a tortured, caged animal. But they're all, they're all set up. It's, yeah, trust no one. I do trust no one. I hate to say it. No, it's a setup. Come on, you're not. Dodi Fayed, his father, what, Muhammad Al Fayed, the Herod's guy was apparently there with the queen mother, with Diana's father, when they all did their little business dealings, when they took, like, seriously, seriously. I have to put my head together because I feel like it's going to explode because I can't handle this. So Princess Di meets this fucking idiot, Prince Charles, King Charles, right? And King Charles is like, whatever love is. Yeah, it's a tampon, according to you. So bravo. Can you even think of that woman? <laughs> can't. I can't. I can't. I was alive for the whole conversation. It was before cell phones. Anyway, so Princess Diana, before she can marry this fucking idiot, okay, 
she has to be checked for her virginity. Now, I'm just curious. Does that include masturbation? Like, are we checking to see if she touched herself? Or just if she fucking... I was born in 66. Or if she stuck something up herself. Because there's so many ways to not be a virgin that I don't know what we're testing for. But okay. So what they're really doing is a ritual. So I heard Muhammad Al-Fayed, uh, Diana's father... Queen Mother, the Queen Mother, Queen Elizabeth, and some other trolls from Parliament were there. So Princess Diana had to spread her legs. This is out of her mouth. She had to spread her legs at 19 because everybody should be looking at her vagina for some fucking reason. And they took a, they broke her hymen. Yes, they broke her hymen and they took the blood. Now, she rode horses, so I don't know how that's possible, but hey... Anyway, they took the blood and put it on a napkin. They took the napkin or kerchief or whatever. That is a ritual. So they harnessed that blood. And, and I had family members go, well, that's what the royals do. I'm like, and that's, I'm sorry. Huh? Why are you giving them your tax money? Okay, why? Because they're doing a satanic ritual with that. They are ritualizing her blood to bind her. They are binding her and any potential children, okay? Yeah, your mom's as old as I am and she's having hell too. But that's what they're doing. They're binding the energy. That's a ritual. That's why they do it. And they have a group of people. They're probably wearing capes and cloaks. They're just not telling us that, okay? Probably had little horns on their head. <laughs> and, you know, of course Diana was inverted. Nobody got legs like that. Yes, but they're inverted in utero. That's the thing. They're inverted in utero. So when there's an inversion in utero, that's what happens. You end up with somebody like that. I know Tallulah's like, oh, I'm going to <laughs> clean cat lady. All right, I'm going to stop. So this is a problem. It wasn't just a napkin. It was a kerchief. But I find it interesting that they say that Dodi uh, Al-Fayed's father was there because that's who she ended up being with at the time that she died. So, but they believe their inversion in Rosemary's baby. I, I, that, that wigged me out. I knew that to be true. <laughs> but when you look at it, they love that. Okay. They, yes, binding bloodlines. That's exactly what they're doing. Okay. Tallulah's being grossed out. Yeah. She heard the word tampon and she's like, that's it. I'm out. I'm out. I can't. I can't. That's what she said. She said, no, no, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. But when you're looking at it, let's see. So who was the kids and who was the DNA is in their kids? Wait, so who? I don't know whose DNA is. I don't know. I, all I know is she's like, I got to clean myself. Inverted. Okay, several things can be inverted. So you've got Warren Beatty. Y'all know who Warren Beatty is, who had a daughter and his daughter, I think her name was Kathleen or Catherine, Kathleen or Rim, whatever. And she became Sam. She became a boy. That means she was born female. And somewhere in her teenage years, she decided to start dressing as a boy. So that's like she's born a girl, like actually comes out on the planet, is born a girl, and then decides to become a boy. Or, or, and this I haven't figured out, okay? This, I have, I'm not, it's not a biologist. This is ritual behavior. Don't be a fucktard. Get off my channel. I'm not a fucking biologist, you stupid bitch. I'm telling you what they do in rituals. Go research it. Go research it. How about this? How about you go research a cult ritual and then come back to me with what you learn? Once you learn that, okay, keep it in your head and understand that's what the fuck they're doing, all right? Because if you believe... Half of the shit you see, you're a stupid asshole. Yes, this is ritualistically what they do. And I am saying that. No, I'm not a biologist. It has nothing to do with biology. It's what they're fucking doing, okay? Research it. Don't be so stupid. You're part of the reason we have a dumb world. You're part of the problem. You're stupid, okay? To make that comment, you're stupid, I'm telling you that because you think what you know is what you know. Try stepping outside of your normal religions, your fucking Catholic, Jewish, Buddhist, even Scientology, and start looking into a cult 
ritual, and religion. Start researching it, dumbass, and then come back and talk to me. Stupid. I have no patience for it anymore. No patience at all. So getting back to Warren Beatty. Was Warren Beatty's child, okay, so that was born a girl, allegedly a girl, and then decided to transgender as a boy. Now, here's the thing. When I thought of this was Cher's daughter, Chastity. So Chastity was born a little girl, right? I know, right? Look it up, right? Like, look it up. You think that what? What the fuck do you think? You think you're going to hurt me by saying that? I'd like you to say it to my face. Say so you think you're a biologist? Oh, wow. You're fucking intelligent. Why don't you educate yourself before you come to me? Educate yourself or shut the fuck up, okay? Go back, live under your rock, turn on the news, listen to those puppets, believe what they say, and shut the fuck up. Get out of my face with that, okay? Get out of my face with it because I'm, <laughs> I'm not fucking listening to you. Anyway, little Chastity Bono, she transitioned into a man. Now, here's where my confusion gets in because I don't know how this works. I don't know when the inversion takes place. I don't know if it takes place after the child has been born all the time. So like I'm born a woman, I can have like a uterus and give birth and then I decide to be a man. So I alter my body in that fashion, right? Or are they altered chemically like my childhood friend was in utero? She wasn't in utero. Her dad was a doctor, as I said, for, um, it's the first time I heard of it. Keith was two and I was reading her chart and I saw it in her chart and I asked her straight out, were you transgendered? Like, and I've known this girl since kindergarten. Dad was a doctor and he was in a, um, internment camp growing up. Okay. Japanese internment camp. So she said it, that they tried to turn her and her sister into boys using medicine, okay, using medicine. And I don't think it worked because she had a problem. No, she didn't look it. I saw it in the chart. No, I know her her whole life. I know her since she was a little girl, her whole life, like kindergarten on. We were friends the entire, like the entire time. I just saw it in her chart and she actually offered that information. I had thought, no, I'm serious. She offered it. John was sitting, thank God he's my witness. I mean, our kids were little two and five at the time. So she was living with us at the time um, because she was homeless and then she came to live with us. But she said that and it was something I saw in her chart, literally something I saw in her chart. And I went, you just hit me to say that. And I asked it. That was my first experience. Now, I do, I could tell there were issues in her childhood, but, um, you know, I didn't really go that level, you know, of that kind of thing. But then there's a thing where they do inject the pregnant female with something hormonally. So what comes out is a masculine looking female baby and a feminine looking male baby. And that's happening before they're born. So there's different ways of them to do it, right? There's there's just different ways to do it. So I don't know who does what and, <laughs> you know, how it, Tom Selleck was gay also. I like Tom Selleck, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Magnum P.I., not going to lie. He had a wife, but apparently he was fucking the head of NBC. This is what I heard back in the day. And I'm talking 30, 40 years ago. This is what I heard. Do I know if it's true? I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I heard. Um, that's how he got where he was going. And you know what? I have a really good actor friend that I've known my whole life. And he told me, I'm not going to out his name. Anyway, he told me that he had a chance to be on American film, okay, from a different country, but American film. But the person who was going to hire him from the films wanted to to do that with him and he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, so he didn't get on TV. So when you're looking at these celebrities, nine out of 10 times, I'm sure there's the exception that proves the rule, but nine out of 10 times, these people are doing things in order to get ahead of you. So I want you to look at it like cheating. They're cheating because they're climbing ladders and doing shit that you don't even think they're doing because you have been manipulated into 
Treat others how you like to be treated. You can't do that on this planet. You cannot go into a fucking gangland war zone neighborhood and treat those people like you want to be treated without getting murdered. You actually have to be aware of your situation and you have to protect your energy, your physical, everything. You have to. You have to, okay? Yes, men can love men too. But don't get married to a chick, you know? It is, it's, they're cheating. It's all for money, power, and fame. And they want it up over your head. Well, they tell you to do things right. Well, they put you in jail for everything. They tell you you're going to go to jail if you fuck your mother's cousin. But the bro family's fucking their brothers, right? Like, that's okay? Like, why is that okay? Oh, they're royals. They fuck each other. It's okay. I'm sorry, why is it okay? <laughs> Can you come here and help? Shh, come here. Tell me why it's okay. Uh, why is it okay? Why is it okay? I just want to know. Please tell me why. <laughs> why that would be okay for them and not for us or vice versa. So it's not. They tell you that you, do you realize right now, do you realize what they're doing? It's so obvious to me what they're doing that they want people to stay in their house you can't even go to a store and try anything on because it's all on Amazon. You cannot go out because they're always fucking seeding the clouds and it's raining on the weekends. They want you to have electric cars. Why would they want you to have electric cars? Ask yourself that. Okay, so first let's look at what a smelter is. I want everyone to do your homework and look up what a smelter is. A smelter is where they take lithium batteries to dispose of them. Now, in Canada, we have a place called Trail British Columbia where they have a huge smelter in North America, the biggest one, one of the biggest ones, where all of those lithium batteries for your electric cars go and your batteries and your phones and blah, blah, blah. That thing causes cancer, drops acid fucking rain, okay? They say they clean it up, causes all kinds of physical illnesses, and you have to process and harness the energy of an electric vehicle twice as much damage to the earth because you have to mine for the lithium, okay? You have to use natural gas to do so. Then you get the batteries and when you dispose of them, it causes so much damage to the air, the ozone, the environment, your liver and kidneys and anybody working in there, okay? Gas is easier on the environment. It's a natural resource, Okay, it's natural. It rains every weekend because they don't want you going out anymore. They're trying to get you to stay in. That's what they want to do. They don't want you to exercise outside. Hi, we. Um, we. They don't want you to exercise outside. That's not what they want you to do. They want you to stay in. They want you to stay in. So they're going to give you electric cars and they'll shut them off. They want you to stay in your neighborhoods. That's why on California freeways, you see these idiotic signs that say bicycle to work. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong here. When I see Gavin Newsom driving his bike through downtown LA during rush hour, then I'll ride a bike. But that fucker ain't going to do it. Why is Leonardo DiCaprio on a private jet flying fucking everywhere? Why are these people who blah, blah, blah to you and me about what we should do on private jets? Get out of your fucking airplanes. Get out of your air. You, DiCaprio, go fly commercial, you little bitch. Go on a plane and fly commercial. That goes for Newsom, Trudeau, fucking whoever and whoever, okay? So they don't, though. They, they're they special. You have to listen to global warming because it's real. <laughs> no, go look up a harp. And they do cloud seeding. And now they're doing it every fucking weekend so that people stay in because they don't want you out. The most important thing you can do is put your shoes on and go outside and walk around. Don't make them stay inside. Don't let them scare you into staying inside because they are fucking horrible. Oh, oh, don't get me started on those scooters in Hollywood. Do not. One of, one of the kid's friends was killed on a scooter in Hollywood because a car ran into the back of it on his 24th birthday and killed him. Why? Because those pay for scooters that Santa Monica has, <laughs> those pay scooters, they don't make you wear helmets. <laughs> so this kid got killed because someone ran over the back of his little scooter. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. But your kid, because my kids used to get 
tickets from whoever for not wearing helmets when they were on um, uh, skateboards. Really? Really? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Yep. Wonderful. Wonderful. I will ride my bike through Los Angeles. I can't. I just can't. I just cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I can't do it. So Candace Owens is controlled opposition. I feel like she's going through this so she can feel like one of us because suddenly she took over what we've all been doing on here for years. SpongeBob, what happened to SpongeBob SquarePants? Yeah, Travolta's plane. That, I can't. I just can't. SpongeBob SquarePants lives in the bottom of Bikini Bottom. That's a kid's show. So your kids are watching a show about a sponge that lives in a Bikini Bottom. Do you get it? Do you see? Chem tra <laughs> I'm trail. No one is at peace until <laughs> I can't. I just can't. Um, I can't because when we pass away, we'll be in peace. SpongeBob. Oh, I know SpongeBob. I think they asked about the person playing SpongeBob. I just remember David Hasselhoff. You wonder what's wrong with him? <laughs> he took the deal, didn't he? Cloud seating. They do all. And they just, I can't, I just can't. I just want to punch everybody in the face. Dan, I know, Baywatch, right? David Hasselhoff doing the sponge. I remember taking Keith to this, the SpongeBob movie. And they, and I remember saying to John at the time, what the fuck are they shooting that picture up Hasselhoff's ass on the surfboard? Like literally the cameraman had a picture on the SpongeBob movie. Hasselhoff was in it. Oh, God. Okay, I have to answer. I can see the neck. Your brother says my face is plastic. Really? How is it plastic? My face is my face. Nice try. <laughs> you wish. It's not plastic. It really is my face. I don't use Botox. I've said this, though. You can tell people who know me. I don't use Botox. I use lights behind me, but I don't use Botox. I haven't had a facelift. This is my nose. I pierce my nose all over because I have a bump in my nose and I like it better with the piercings. I have eye dents. I have wrinkles. So what's plastic? Or is your brother like a gay woman hater? What is it? What is it? Do you see that? It's like, oh, my brother thinks that you're plastic. I think your brother's a piece of shit for saying stupid shit to someone he doesn't know. How about that? How about your brother's a piece of shit? But anyway, no, people always say that. They're like, your face looks... I don't see how it looks plastic. Like... This is my face. This is my face. Like, you can tell. I don't, you know, I don't. Does your brother want to look like me? Does he want my boobies? What does he want? Does he want that? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Plastic. Yeah. See, do you see how, the, how this pr is a problem in this world? We have the Kardashians out there who get all that surgery. But, like, if you're born and you look okay, they're like, you must be Plastic. That I don't touch. I haven't touched my face yet. I'll let you know when I do, though. I have no problem doing that. I did a whole video how I line my lips and stuff. You think it's a compliment? Why would being plastic be a compliment? <laughs> I look exactly like my mother. I look exactly like my children. So, like, I can't help it if I look the way I do. Like... At least I'm not a pedophile. At least I'm not a man telling a woman she looks plastic. Like, do you get sex? Do you actually get laid saying that? Like, how do you talk to your wife? I'm just curious. Do you say to your wife, listen, you fat bitch, after she had kids, and does she fuck you or suck your dick? Or do you even have sex? Probably you don't. <laughs> Here, here's what I will tell you. If you want to look good, try being a nice person inside because it always shows. And uh, don't drink. Don't do drugs. Drink water, sleep, and exercise. Because I don't drink. I don't do drugs. That's why my face looks like this. But my face looks like my face. Like, I don't know what to say. These are my fingernails, my real nails. I took the acrylic off. I have light nail polish on. I'm not sure I'm happy about this. These are now real. They were fake. My eyebrows are my eyebrows. I pencil them in every morning. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I know. I know they're trying to distract me. I, I, 
<laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> I know. Obviously, he's not getting laid. And if he is married, his wife hates his guts. You know what she's doing behind his back? Fuck you. Every time he walks to the kitchen, she's going, fuck you. Every time he opens his mouth, she's like, God, I wish he'd fucking wash his underwear himself. <laughs> That's what she's fucking saying. She's like, fuck, how do I get out of this marriage from this piece of shit? <laughs> and if he's not married, we know why. Okay, anyway. Okay, so no wonder women have troubles and eating disorders, but I'm being serious now. I'm so being serious. You cannot think I look plastic. You know why? <laughs> this is not like none of this. This is my face. Like you can't think that. It's so weird. <laughs> he's secretly, because he's gay. He's taking it up the ass, but he's not doing it for a ritual. He's doing it because he's in the closet. <laughs> You can't, have you seen what people's plastic faces look like? Like, have you seen that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I go on a tangent. I'm like, I can't fucking deal it. I can't deal with it. <laughs> Fuck off. Um, <laughs> and I know it's just so stupid. People are so stupid. But seriously, like, People who, you can't move your face with Botox and shit. Like, what's plastic? Here's my ears. There's no scars, is there? <laughs> I have pretty short hair. Wouldn't you see scars? I mean, I have a lot of earrings, but these are really my ears. Like, there's no facelift. Here. Can you see? Do you see that? This is all wrinkles. This is all almost 60 years old. But... <laughs> That's what it is. There's no Botox going on here. <laughs> These are really my, no, you know, people, when they have facelifts, they have like their hair doesn't grow. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. But the reason their faces look like so weird is because when they cut the face up here, don't think I'm not researching doing it. I will fucking research doing it, of course, but I haven't done anything like that. So I don't know what's plastic. Are you saying like makeup looks plastic because I like makeup so much like some of us women like to look good for ourselves um you know I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say oh my god anyway here you go this is for you okay so anyway um I feel sorry for women that they have to deal I wear I like a lot of makeup I mean I just like makeup I wear makeup all the time you look like a transgender Ken doll okay sure anyway it's a good thing you know what I'm really glad about because you know me when I had Jason the BBC wanted to do the filming of the water birth I had with Jason John wouldn't allow it so when we had Keith we filmed the video so you can actually see my body my face my hoochie and my child coming out of my hoochie okay <laughs> So I cannot be transgender. I just cannot be. But um, that's good. I think you're saying Kendall because I have short hair. Do you have an issue with people having short hair? <laughs> what? What? Am I supposed to have long hair because that's how you equate? <laughs> no, I'm serious. They love to say, I know they're trying to troll me. It doesn't matter. I know what I look like. I can see my face in the mirror. I look like my mother. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, no, I did have, I have Keith's birth on, um, yeah, there's never going to be any moderators on my channel because I don't trust people. <laughs> never let anybody into my personal life other than what I choose, but not in my personal computer, nothing like that because people steal and they fuck you over. So no, you know, you're hoochie, but I'm really glad I have the video of Keith and I can remember Keith watching his birth video going, why are you hurting me? And I just looked at him and I'm like hurting you. <laughs> No, no, it hurt the mom. But anyway, yeah, I have the beautiful picture of Keith being born. But I'm, you know, I feel so bad for women because, yeah, well, you know, you know, when you're on this planet and you are born maybe with natural things that other people don't have, you will be punished because most people have their insides show on their outside. So, you will be punished by those that are stupid. So just know that. We're talking about all kinds of nonsense today. Yeah. Candace Owens, I feel literally is controlled opposition. Okay. 
I feel I'm getting a ring light flash over there. I feel like she is controlled opposition in that she's so high up in the media, popped out of nowhere and is saying everything that's on YouTube. Now, remember this. So is Megyn Kelly. Here's the issue with this. So like Megyn Kelly, um, yeah, we're all over the place. That's how we live over here. It's how we live in my head. Um, that's why I will film a video when I want to, and it'll be on one topic, maybe. But anyway, when you have, um, you have Megyn Kelly, who was a mainstream television person, suddenly saying shit like Epstein's alive and all of this shit, being fired from the network, and you have Tucker Carlson being fired, and you have Candace Owens, I don't know, different network, not Fox, but... You have them understand they're trying to take the money from you guys on YouTube and people like me and that because they want complete control over this platform, which is why they're doing what they're doing, okay? They want to take it from us. They cannot let us get where we want to go ourselves because they have to have control over the narrative 24-7. So they start infiltrating the narrative. The narrative is, why would Megyn Kelly on Fox? It's like those actors. It's like Denise Richards. So you had a show, okay? And even, what's her name? What's her name? Car Rob Kardashian's wife, Black China. So they got to go on OnlyFans. I know Black China has converted to whatever, if, to Christianity and been reborn and whatever. But they had to have OnlyFans to take all the money away from the people on OnlyFans. <laughs> do you understand that? They had to do it. If you are making money, they have to do it. It's like being a famous million-dollar actor, okay? I know, can I controlled opposition. I mean, she's just not fooling me. But you have to be, like, hugely rich. And then I got to see you taking commercial jobs away from people that need money. So then you've got to take over everything. Like what? The prostitutes can't be on OnlyFans. You have to go there. What are you going to take over? Foot Finders too? I'm waiting for you, Denise Richards, to go to Foot Finders because I think it's appropriate. <laughs> right? Controlled opposition. What does that mean? So we have a narrative over here that is out of control, right? So we have a narrative that says the world is good, the doctors are right, the vaccine's perfect, um, your kids are healthy, blah, 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 whatever you see on the mainstream news, okay? Whatever nonsense over here. What's his name during the pandemic? The two brothers in New York. Um, God, I've tuned them out of my head. Whoever those people were, is she? There she is. <laughs> Cat lady. Okay, so... Uh, Como, uh, yeah, thank you. Those, those two, bro the Island Brothers, them too. But you've got the the Comos. You've got you've got them. One of them, they're like, we're gonna give them an Emmy. Why would you give somebody telling the truth about a medical issue an Emmy? An Emmy is for a fucking fake actor. That should have told everybody something right there. So they have this narrative, and then they have what they call us conspiracy theories, theorists, whatever, which is really truthers, which is really facts. Okay, so they have. Not everything, not everything and everything is wrong or right, but they need to make us think that what we're thinking is correct. And since the narrative now is that the mainstream media is wrong, they take those people and put them into our world to make other people think that what they're saying is correct. So then, then when Candace Owen turns and says some other bullshit. Did you hear her talking about P. Diddy? She goes, I'm not going to talk about this anymore because it's dangerous. Bitch, you weren't talking about it to begin with, okay? You, it's a, totally. You were never talking about it. Never. Never. Of course Usher's getting an award. I hope he's getting the Rapist of the Year award for raping underage Justin Bieber. Is that what he's going to get? I'm just asking. Being serious, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's just to fuck with us. The controlled opposition. So when mainstream says this, they send one of their own over here. So then it's like gaslighting because nobody knows who to believe. Okay, nobody knows who to believe. You've got Megyn Kelly. You've got this. You've got that. Tucker Carlson. They're all, all, all now suddenly on our side. And now they're collecting all the money. You've got, um, oh my God, the British one. Married to Katy Perry, oh my God, whatever. The one I went to see, I cannot remember anybody's name tonight. 
but you've got him. You've got all of that. I know you've got all of those people. Um, and they're all talking. Okay. They're all talking about the St. Russell brand. They're all take Russell brand when I saw him. And again, this was, this is before 2020, 2019, Christmas of 29, might've been January, 2020, but it was while Keith was alive. That's what I remember. So it was early in the year. Russell Brand was at a conference and he literally was invoking the audience using his hand rituals while he was talking. I mean, I can see what he's doing. I could see what he's doing. I don't care what people say. I can see what you're doing. I'm in that field. You're not fooling me. I may talk to you, but you don't fool me. I can see what you're doing. Oh my God. Anyway, so they're all doing things to control the Russell brand. They're all doing things to control our narrative, but you can't control. I know what I know. And I know, yeah, most YouTube truthers are gone. That's right. They try to do it. Jim Carrey. I know they're, they, they do that. So then when Candace Owen and Russell brand turn the narrative, we believe them because they've been in our world saying what we say. Okay. So now they manipulate us. Oh, we can believe them. And then they start lying to us over here. <sighs> That's what happens. Yes, he is gone from YouTube. That is what happens though. I feel like Keith knew the real shit. Yeah, Keith did know the real shit. <laughs> the real shit. Now I have to do a shout out. Tony Robbins. I can't comment. I bang my head against a wall. I can't. I can't, I can't do any housewife commenting. <laughs> I cannot. Okay. So, um, anyway, yeah, I cannot. Yeah. I don't know. I'm serious. Yes. I'm being serious. I'm being serious. You certainly don't think somebody like Tucker Carlson suddenly switched his agenda off of Fox. They fired him off of Fox to make it look like he was a uh, rebel at Fox. It's a setup. He worked mainstream TV. It's a setup. It's a setup. It's evident. Yes, it's. Thank you. It is very evident what Russell Brand is doing. He got the Putin interview, and <laughs> yeah, I know. I I can't even. I just can't. They take everything and they they you know. They take that shit. I don't know what to say. Trust yourself first. Trust girls in Duncan. <laughs> um, I watched Russell Brand. I had to go and pay and sit and watch. I wanted to see what I knew I would see and I saw. So I know what I'm looking at. Don Lemon is a total whatever. I don't know what to say. Yeah, God always wins in the end. All right, you guys, uh, when will you start having bookings? <laughs> Try to avoid that. I don't know. I have to look at my calendar. Keep checking back. Please don't email me and ask me why my why you can't book on my site because I shut it down. That's why. Because I don't want to do it. <laughs> that is why. <laughs> oh, I don't want to work 24-7. You can't make me and I won't. So you emailing me, I will never respond. Just know that. Okay, how does heaven and hell work? I have no idea, to be very honest, but what I do have an idea of is the energy of this planet is very close to hell. This is not a good place. Everything that goes on here is counter indicated against each other, and it's contradictory, and it's evil, and it's just basically horrible. And if you don't know that, and you think it's a good, <laughs> good planet, I, I don't know what to say. I don't believe we go to heaven the minute we die. I don't believe we go to heaven. I believe we cross dimensions and it's different dimensions for everybody. They've tricked us into saying what death is. We're all afraid of dying. They've tricked us when it's really a, a, a dimensional change. I've seen that when I went out of my body. I've always gone out of my body, but I've seen that during a surgery when I went out. This planet is not a good place and they've collapsed planets on I mean planets um they've collapsed uh dimensions on dimensions and now they're trying to steal our consciousness and rid the planet of us I'm beginning to think I am in hell that's just my opinion on this planet 
I actually think I'm in hell. So I must have been something, but I'm in hell right now. It's definitely a simulation. It's a joke. It's fucking hellish. There's, I, and I've got to say this again, you guys, you guys, you guys, literally, literally, Section 8 is now going to these illegal immigrants. Section 8 is all over Zillow. We'll accept Section 8. But if you, a working person, makes 100000 a year or whatever you make, 50000 90000 100000 300000 and your credit score is not a certain level, we won't take you, but we will take an illegal Section 8. You know why? The government is paying all the homeowners. I'm not joking you. The government is paying all the homeowners to take Section 8 because absolutely everybody will lose their job. They won't have anywhere to live and then they can segregate us. Understand that. This is definitely a fucking soul trap here. This is a soul trap. This is a bad place. Nothing good happens on this planet. Not one thing. The birth of your children. But don't worry. They'll have your children addicted to drugs, learning a language that they never intended to learn due to a school system where they really can't learn because a bunch of immigrants are in it illegally. I'm not talking about anybody that came here legally, illegally. And they're taking all your tax money and you can eat shit, but the royals, <laughs> again, do whatever they do and keep all your money. Newsom could fly around in his jet, eat his $1,500 dinners while you idiots wear masks and listen and, and can't go into your local restaurant they're doing this. This is what they're doing. Don't let them. Anytime anyone says to me, you can't do this, I'm like, fuck off. If they start talking to me, I'm like, I don't, just fuck off. Like, I'm not listening to you. I don't care. Section 8, yes, Section 8 is taxpayer funded, but I'm telling you, in law, I, I'm telling you, every listing says Section 8 accepted. If your credit score is not 650, you are not. A lot of people, including myself, have less than 650, 640, 630 for whatever reason, okay? And we have enough money to pay the rent and we work and don't take money from the government. We can't get it because our credit score, they want the government money because it comes through every month from the taxpayers. It's obnoxious. It's bullshit. That is some fuckery. All of those people should be fired. Section 8, <laughs> your credit score is over 700. <laughs> Bravo. I just paid off another loan and it's dropped three points. I give up. But that's what they want to do. They want to push you out of renting. If you think you're <laughs> 420, I love that. <laughs> I've been there too. <laughs> 850, I've never been there. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's sick what they're doing. They're saying if you're on the government dole and you're taking taxpayers' money, I'm not talking about vets or people that need it, okay? I'm talking about 90% of the people on government money, taking money under the table for jobs. Fuck you and your Section 8, okay? Fuck off with that. Um, yeah, it's just, and you can't get rid of these people. And these people are not like, they're not really going to take care of your property, <laughs> I'm a credit score 300. What did you do? 499 and I can't dispute. Yeah, I know. My dispute, I it's a it, uh, Royal Virgin check. Uh vets that's right. Why are the vets not getting the housing? Why are vets not getting housing? Uh, yeah, and they get tax returns. I know they get tax returns. What a <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, the wait list is years long now. Because of these losers that they let across the border. I am not talking about people that do it legit or people that are coming from countries. I'm talking about what they've been doing for the last months to the tune of thousands every month for no reason other than to upset the apple cart over here. Yes, Coke and Pets and the squatters. Have you guys seen that shit with those squatters? Oh my God. I swear to God, you fucking squat in my house. I, I swear. I swear to God. I swear, we're going to have at it <laughs> if you squat in my house. Since when does a squatter... Now, when I go to get in a house and to open up, I have to give them a social security number to open up whatever services, uh, like Spectrum or whatever, cable. Your social security number, a code, and this and that. This, these fucks just go... 
and live in your house and you have to get them out? 850 is really good. Um, it's just really funny. I'm like, what planet am I on? What planet? 100. You do not have a 100 score. <laughs> it's, it's totally wild. It's totally wild. Now, I'm going to tell you something else before I sign, sign out here. I believe the music industry... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to say this out loud. I believe the music industry has been hijacked by traffickers. <clears throat> and I believe that they're killing people. Randomly, somebody that was a childhood friend of ours ended up deceased. And I don't believe that it's anything but what I'm saying it is. So here's what I believe happens. They get these kids young when they want to go into music. They get these kids into production places and these all these production studios where they launder money through them traffic because producers and bands get to travel all over the world while they're trafficking what humans money drugs whatever and then when somebody does something right i am on the wrong planet too they just take them out be very careful of that be very careful who your friends are i'm talking to all the young rappers out there all the young hip hoppers all of that they are trafficking through these production houses and they will just kill your ass if you say something that they don't fucking want you to say. And that, and I am saying that, okay? And I dare you to do it different. I'll, I'll figure it out later. But in this particular instance, I feel that's exactly what happened. I feel like that's exactly the fuck what happened, okay? I don't feel like the person had any hand in it other than being in the vicinity of this production house. I absolutely fucking believe that, okay? I believe it. I don't believe it was of their own... <laughs> <laughs> Am I Illuminati psychic? Shut up. Anyway, I <laughs> no, I'm not. In the name of Jesus, amen. No, I'm not. I believe it was an absolute setup. Um, so this is somebody that our family knew and somebody that my son loved dearly. And so I think you have to be very careful with your kids because they get involved in it and it's a whole lifestyle and it's sacrifice. And let's take the word Illuminati, call it Freemason, call it Baphomet religion, call it Satanic, call it Luciferian. It's been given any of those things, okay? Any of those um, names. But uh, my prayers are with a family friend who's who passed because of this, I feel. So I just absolutely implore you to understand that every time you have a movie that films out of town, you have a production house that has a band that wins Grammys, they're not getting there because they are good. Okay. That's not how it works anymore. It does not work that way. So when you get into these places, they, they write off these buildings. They are corporations, these groups of hip hoppers and rappers, young ones, sometimes brothers, Sometimes the brothers die of an overdose and then sometimes they bring in somebody and they just randomly die too. Sometimes these fucking people take these people, these production, these music companies, they get you to write over here. Little Peep was a friend of one of them actually. Um, they get the, they, he's a friend of the kids. And so is the, the, so many of them. My kids grew up around a lot of them. Jay, or Keith was actually going to go out and bodyguard for one of the big groups that is now a big group. At the time, kids he went to school with, but of course, he ended up run off the road. But anyway, when you look into this, they use the the business corporation as a way of traveling and writing it off. And then they go into different countries and there's trafficking, cartel trafficking going through these production houses musically. And I'm sure movie, movie is wise. A movie as well. And then there's people. The biggest commodity is trafficking people. Yeah, K-pop training camps. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yes, they. it's a symbol for... Shut up with that. It's... <laughs> so, yes, they do worship it. The Baphomet is their symbol. As above, so below. Penis dick. Uh, uh, inversion. Black white. Black tile floor. Luciferianism, a.k.a. Satanism, a.k.a. Freemasonry, a.k.a. Okay, Scientology, Jet Propulsion Lab, etc. It is a symbol for that. That's a symbol for it. So we're calling it Satanic. Okay, got it? Got what I'm saying? Got it? 
fucking Jesus, get off of here. <laughs> I get so mad. Yes, ball war. I know, I know, I know what they're doing. It's all, <laughs> it's all the same. It's all the fucking same. That is my point. The Freemasons run around like on the Flintstones with fucking hats on their head going, we're part of a lodge, a group, <laughs> doing their little hand symbols. Okay. All right. How's that working for you? How's that working for you? How the fuck is that working for you? I call it the Baphomet religion. That's what I choose to call it. Okay. I fucking call Catholics crazy. That's what I choose to call them too. Okay, can I do that? Or are you going to correct me on that? They're not all crazy. Well, I think the whole religion is crazy. All right, all right. You get what I'm saying. You know what I mean. <laughs> you fucking know what I'm saying. Um, I know, Freemasons, uh, unbelievable. Uh, they put Lucifer, yeah, I know. I know what they do. <coughs> oh my God, excuse me, y'all. Catholicism is ritualistic by nature and they teach you that it's good. They teach you to eat the body and drink the blood of Christ. <laughs> so now you want me to cannibalize my God, the son of God. That's what you want me to do. Fraternities are clubs too. Fraternities are clubs as well. And I still don't think Brian Koberger did it. Go ahead and come after me on that one too. Yeah, I'll check the moon later. <laughs> right now. I know, I know. Drink. Oh, but it's only just a symbol. Why are they using that symbol? Why are they using that symbol? Just ask yourself, what is that about? Snuff films, that's another one. Thank you, snuff films. It was recorded. Yes, you're correct. Yeah, you're correct. I don't know. Why are they using that symbol? Uh, the Flintstones called it the Grand Pooh Ball. <laughs> I don't know why I'm referencing the Flintstones. And remember Kazoo? <laughs> he was a little alien on Fred's shoulder and he would be the good one, the bad one. Yeah. So was Fred possessed? Was Fred possessed? I'm talking about the Flintstones. A cartoon. Oprah. Oprah. Okay. First of all, Oprah. Oh, don't get me started. Oprah, who gave everybody cars that you have to pay taxes on. If you had the money to pay the tax on the fucking car, you'd have bought a fucking car yourself. Tyler Perry, another sellout, okay? Another sellout. I don't even believe in SpaceX. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. The Anunnaki are real. Kazoo, was he an alien or a demon? I'm just asking. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. I've done the, the Idaho 4 and I Pentecostal. I know. Any man, made just understand this. You're born into families where your parents have religions. Any man-made religion is full of shit because man did it, okay? They just want money. Understand everybody just wants money. And these religions make you pay. Why else would you pay 20000 for a tombstone <laughs> nearby? You're not even there. Like, that's like burying your chicken in a tombstone. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I'm losing my mind again. No, I don't believe she is. <laughs> I don't believe it. No, I know what SpaceX is. Do I? Samuel Jackson. I don't know. I happen to like him. <laughs> I love it when he goes off preaching the Bible and shoots someone in the head. <laughs> like, that's about right. <laughs> yeah, you can call me bonkers. I mean, it's fine. Be, be, Bohemian Grove. You can call me anything you want. It doesn't matter to me. It's a live stream and this is just for fun. This is just for fun. So that's, you know, Jackie Gleason. Yeah. Yeah. Denzel. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, you guys. Uh, this <laughs> Some of it's, it's, it's sickening. It's, it's actually not funny when you know that they traffic Yes, Katy Perry having MS. Well, maybe she should stop eating the type of meat she eats. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? You know what kind of flesh they eat, right? Do you know what kind of flesh they eat? That's why they have that response in their brain. Dan Schneider, I cannot stand. John Candy, I liked. He grew up in Newmarket. I was in a group home in Newmarket. He died so many years ago. He's like 40-something. Yep, that's what they're doing. Well, what do you think she got MS for? Why is everybody getting MS all of a sudden? Why? Why? What's in the meat? I'm not saying they're deliberately. I'm just asking you what's in the meat. 
I'm so stuffed right now. I have to go. Okay. Bye, you guys. Cat lady. Cat lady. <laughs> Cat lady. Yeah, I'll have a good night. Cat lady. Cat lady. That's right. Okay. This was just a silly live. Don't listen to me at all. Okay, bye.